Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them. Ladies and gentlemen, ear hustlers all around the world, welcome to another episode of The Noise. If you yeah. haven't yet, go ahead and follow us on the big three, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at The Noise Podcast. And make sure you follow everything Beat Network at BeatNetworkOnline.com. I am your host, Big Los. Hollywood Cav. Jay Alonzo. And we are back on another Monday, God damn it! I don't know why I got so brooding. Yeah, that, <laughs> that became very brooding very like early. You know what I'm saying? I'm you became not, Batman in the middle of that? Listen. Can you imagine Hockey going 30, 30 years of just that? Yeah. Like, at some point, your voice is going to react. Like, yeah. like you're going to be in a, in a regular situation doing Bruce Wayne shit. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Like, do you want your jeans? Do you want a starch or do you want just regular press? Starch. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, <clears throat> <laughs> starch. Or vice versa. <laughs> he chasing the Riddler or something. It sound like Bruce Wayne. Yo, what's so crazy is that Bruce Wayne's regular voice is very soft. Mm-hmm. I, I would be like, oh, so you're... You're one of those niggas that be going to like flex, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tone Loke did it for a long time, you know what I mean? But I, I don't know what Tone Loke's problem was to have that kind of voice, but. I thought that was, that, so that wasn't, act, that wasn't right, Tone Loke's actual voice? voice. No, no, that's, that's his actual voice, but something in his childhood caused that to happen. <clears throat> oh, he didn't always sound something happening, nah, and nah, that's nah, why nah, he started nah, sounding nah. like that? The, the, the urban legend is he is a bad response to like chili. <laughs> no, he can't this nigga chili. lost out to man witch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I forgot the story you told, but no, as a kid, it wasn't what we know it as today. Mm. So damn, I fucked chili. with him though. C. and Timon was my shit. Oh, okay. Really? C. Bear and Timon. That, that was my shit. Like I, a lot of times, like with cats that have voice like that, every time they're talking, I'm steady, just looking like. <clears throat> <laughs> just clear that out. Just get, get that about right. your throat, bro. No, you, you ever like a, offer the cat who got like a weird ass, like groggy voice, like a Ja Rule, like, hey, bro, you, you, you want some water or something? Like, <laughs> that's, what, that's the main thing I'm thinking. Like, it's something lodged in there. He got to right. get that. He got to get good? that. Lots of love you got stored in the throat. You got to there. Spit that out. You, you know? That's what, low key, that's why I feel bad for Beanie Siegel. Like, I understand he got shot, mm-hmm. but every time Beanie Siegel talk, I feel like one good. Yeah. Maybe like a spit. Nah. <laughs> but I will say after the uh he was on a push album, I believe, mm-hmm. like shortly after that. Um and he his his verse was crazy. Like how he sounded. It went great with his verse, but he sounded like my nigga, you're about poor thirty sweet. seconds from from and passing out like, from from came <laughs> breathing. Wall Street bully. You good? Yeah, like Benny Siegel already sound like a grimy nigga getting shot. Right. He just sounds even more like, bro, you're yeah. up to something. I don't know what. Exactly. But you're definitely plotting exactly. something. <laughs> you, you know who's more so? those eggs right there. You know what I'm saying? Sick. And like that bacon porcelain. <laughs> are, they, are they scrambled? Like, nah, but I can re scramble them for you. Know, give me a second. You know? <laughs> you know whose voice kills me, and I know he can't fucking handle it. I, he can't, you know what I'm saying, control it because of this whole situation. Kind of way. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Conway's a little different because Kanye's not so much his voice; it's more like his this his disfiguration of his of his face. Right. Yeah, and that's what throws you off. That's, first. And that's what, you. because when you hear him, it's just like when you li- listening to Jewel, Jewel Santana when he was missing the tooth. Mm-hmm. You hear the air going through that yeah, tooth. Yeah. With Conway, you hear the air no, hitting Joel his was, cheek. That, that's different. Joel, yeah, Joel was. was. If Conway didn't have like like he's like Jay said, if his face was straight, but he sounded like that, he'd be like, all right. But the fact that he his, he sounds like that and his, his face, face is messed yeah, up. His, his face is, tells a story. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He just got a permanent mug. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah. but what you else? Is sideways like, mug at that. Add that it's deep like, sideways. Like, hey, mom. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm, nah, I'm telling you, when they came in with that diplomat, I'm gonna say, oh, they definitely recorded this before you got that new. They suit. need to put Joel's on a uh, whistle while they twerk. Oh yeah, easily. He's gonna have the best one. <laughs> that nigga shit gonna sound like a train whistle. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? That works. They just Copy use him that. instead of blowing the whistle where whistle just got Jewels. Dog, it was it makes <laughs> <laughs> No where it was just Jewels. Just, just just get just get Jewels to just pronounce all his asses. Right. Just get him to go out there and do it. That's why it's so funny when when Jada on verses was like, I know niggas with the jails to get their teeth fixed and pointed at Jewels and said, I'm like <laughs> Damn, dog. Damn, and you right. know with Joel's money, he didn't get like a whole new set of veneers. He got one veneer tooth. So now he got all these age written teeth <laughs> and that one tooth that just looked like a Tic Tac. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, what, what, uh, is there an age appropriation for getting veneers? What do you mean? No. 
The reason why I, I, I peeped out uh, BMF the other day, mm-hmm. right? First of all, the show's fantastic. Yeah, it is. I, that, when we were early and I was like, oh, I got to catch that tonight. I was talking about yeah, 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 yeah. The show is fantastic. However, uh, even and, and big shout out to uh, to Lil Meech, uh, Big Meech's son who plays Big yeah, Meech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he has zero acting chops. To, to, to nah, you can acting. tell there's no acting. However, when he's talking, his more happier scenes where he's smiling and whatnot, mm-hmm. yo, he got a real motherfucking chops, but like big old like chatterbox chops. You know? right. Yeah, every, every, I, Go ahead. I'm gonna say when you, I feel like when you get veneers and you got the money to do it, you gotta go in there. You can't just say no, nah, just just give me whatever. You gotta have some shit that that yeah, works. Our for consultation gotta be some hours. Yeah, you know what I mean. Don't just no, nah, just give me that. That look good. No, nah, give me some shit niggas, that actually works for my mouth. I've been seeing niggas. I've been wanting to go. Cha, 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 yeah, cha, you see, like, like, teeth like, extra Nori, big. Like Nori got like the, the top row, but not the bottom row. No, yeah. see, Nori need to go ahead and just break the bread to get that bottom row done because <laughs> he has like say he has the top row, but his bottom row been there since since. Fucking Fucking uh, super yeah, thug, yeah. Ain't yeah, no way, yeah. cause top row's nothing. Bottom row super thug, <laughs> exactly. The top row, the top row's the nothing check. The bottom, the bottom row is super that thug. The bottom row's never flipped us. You know what I'm saying? Top row's <laughs> God's favorite. Shit. Swear to God, you know what I'm that saying? Was good. Early, early violator tapes was oh, that yeah. bottom oh, row, man. grimy. Um, man, that shit threw me off. Uh, what was, oh, I was just about to say something. Damn. Anyway, how y'all doing, fellas? <laughs> oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, it, it's been a Extremely heavy week as far as news, bro. They knew and they things <laughs> happening. They was this like, is, it's, it's, "It's too the, much conversation." Yeah, it's <laughs> to make up for last week. Oh, right, this exactly. typically happens to us. We'll either have a week where there's nothing, or there's Everything. nothing. We record, then there's something. Then the world says, or fire. there's nothing, and then the following week it's it's something. Yeah, right. Uh, like, this one, this one almost, almost deserves a part two. No, low key, like it's, it's so much shit. <laughs> first week of October, the sequel. <laughs> now I remember what the hell I was gonna bring up. Y'all know I be always be looking into random facts and shit like that. Uh, so the nigga who played Gangsta A in like every early hood movie kind of looked like Rajon Rondo. Y'all remember him? He was he shot Ricky. Yeah, I yeah. remember as the nigga that shot Ricky. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, Never seen another first nigga. of all, yeah. he looks exactly like Rajon Rondo. Secondly, do y'all know that nigga's fate? <laughs> He's doing time, isn't he? No, I thought he was dead. Him dead, dead. dead. Yeah, uh, I, but, thought he, I thought he was dead like he was really doing that shit dead. And not just dead, dead, but he's not But he's not dead because he was really doing that shit. Both of y'all are right. Really? So the nigga called a double homie mm-hmm. in 99, I want to say it was. He mm-hmm. called a double homie in 99, led police on a high-speed chase with heaviest quotes because he was he did it on, on a bicycle. Went to jail. Yeah, you got to be a cold nigga to do a high speed chase on the bike. Hey man, the way he shot Ricky, that's just where he come from. That's you got to be about. a cold ass nigga, dog. Um, but yeah, one, one of the funniest videos ever. If you ever get a chance to watch uh wildest uh police interactions or something like that, no wildest police chases to where my man is running, crashes the truck, gets off the truck. Happens to have a skateboard just ready to go, bro. <laughs> I get to skate down the road, bro. I'm getting away. And police wow. are like, we can't catch you. He's on a fucking skateboard. You can't catch you. Wow. Run into the back of his shit. Right. <laughs> End of the day. But anyway, so he called Double Homie, got, got hit with a life sentence in 99, and he went, I, I know he had to hit with life sentence in 01, I think it was. Mm-hmm. But this nigga was still doing movies while he was on the run. That's the weird part. He was still doing, and the nigga had How once in post. Hood movies. <laughs> but. Yeah. Somebody but, he, he, he can blend into the background. Exactly. You know, just, just <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga Lord. Yeah, but nigga um, Lord. ultimately, he went to jail um, for the double homie, knew he was going to do life, uh, ended up finding Christ, turning his life around. And he ended up, this, this is where shit went bad. He ended up getting a new cellmate who also was in there serving life, also for a homie, but he was a devout Satanist. <laughs> Holy so, shit. So if you don't give a fuck, I really don't give a fuck. So he kept, you know, preaching the gospel to dude, and dude kept telling him, leave that shit alone. Right, leave me alone, my nigga. Turns out the reason dude was in there is because his pledge to Satanism was that he had to kill two people. One of them was going to be obvious, and one was going to be made obvious somewhere down the line. He felt that like dude, dude that shot it. Ricky was the one being made obvious down the line. Wow. Killed this nigga and he was using a satanic ritual. He said this, he had this nigga body in the cell for like six or seven days. They said that he even strung this nigga hand up and was using this nigga like ventriloquist. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> when they would call his name and he hit wow. the, hit the he dick. Those you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. On some weekend at Bernie type shit. And 
uh, I guess one late night, he finally can finish the ritual. He lays nigga out in the uh, in the uh, in the six point star. If I, mm-hmm. I I don't know Satanism, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm about to have a piss off. That's what they fans. do, right? But they lay him out in, in in the little star, or whatever. Drank this nigga blood and everything. I said, "Is that how he really went out?" Oh, wow, <laughs> that's fucked up. That's fucked up. All because that's he shot up. Ricky. That shit would never happen if he wouldn't have shot Ricky. And then to know they, they was using nigga as a ventriloquist. So I was like, that, that shit that is fucking funny. funny and, and it got past that. Yeah, and that it, shit is funny to me. Like, what? Because I can see like him holding, having a string, and do. I can see this shit, or in their case, bed sheets. And I can see. I and can the, see they that. They to show that 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 the CEOs don't be too fucked. Shit, right? Right? <laughs> nah, they don't. Nah. But uh, yeah, I, I I had to share that because I, re- I read that crazy. today and was just like. Get the fuck out of here. Are you That's serious? Fucking crazy. How was y'all week, man? Um, how was my week? How was your week, Kev? Um, my week was cool. I mean, I, I um, like I was explaining the other time, I, I got a, I'm getting a new gig. Um, so I've been kind of picking up a lot of shifts this mm. p- particular week, but all that is kind of done. Um, outside of that, man, my, my week has been cool. My week has been cool. Um, Dealing with my kids, man. Like they're they're getting older and they're in that stage now where it's like you got to kind of kind of watch them a little bit more because they they can really get into some shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like to the point where if they're too quiet, I'll be like something something's going on. Other are day, you, are you the, uh, the the listening dad? Like hey hey, both the bit of toilet, both. We're Both, because really I do that. I should. I, I did it before I came here. <laughs> hey, leave, leave that shit alone. But All right, I'm gonna fuck well, I don't say shit. I'd be, I be like, hey, yo, leave that alone. Cut it out. But but there is times where I can be watching something or just just reading something, and it'll be bone quiet. I'm like, I know it's I'm not. The, I know I'm not the only person in here. Right. <laughs> what what is going on? What and I doing? go in there and either be some wild shit or they just chilling. Baby powder. You know? So yeah. You know, yeah. I've never had this experience as a father, but I definitely had it as an uncle to where when it's just stupid quiet mm-hmm. and then not just the noise, but the loudest possible noise. And you know how your daughter is. It yeah. was like, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the one thing about, about my kid is like back, back, back then. Oh, she was quick with the one me at all. Nigga. Really like, looking at the you. one me line was 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 huge miles like crash bang comic book shit. I ain't do it. It's just me and you here, my nigga. <laughs> but it wasn't me. And I, it wasn't me. So <laughs> yeah. and I actually didn't do it. You gotta so. figure out what your clumsies. <laughs> right. See, my daughter, I, I she don't she don't she don't really do that. Like she be discreet. My son, no. Oh, he don't give a fuck. He, but he's, at you he, he just turned over. three, so he don't. He really don't care. Most boys don't. Yeah, he he really don't give up. What my daughter does do though, and she's conniving with it. She sneaks food. Wow! <laughs> like nah, she I sneaks food that. to the point where we had to put now. Now we don't have to. We took it off. But when we first moved to our spot, we had to put locks on the refrigerator because she would steal food. Now it's like we can't put stuff on the counters. We got to put it up. One day I went in her in her room and it was like a sail toss up. Something's in here because it stunk. I lift up her bed. She got banana peels, apple peels, fruit snacks. I don't know how she got the fruit snacks because they're up. Like, you know what I mean? You can't reach them. How did you get? Yeah, Y'all she, she still food. But, but to her credit, though, she knew she went for the fruit. Yeah, because like, she couldn't get the other stuff. Yeah, but, you know, you know, if you're going to find anything that's out of whack, at least let it be fruit. All right. <laughs> then, okay, it was fruit then, so she took it. Mm. It ain't been no fruit there. Do you think that stopped her from taking shit? No. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> yes, she takes it. One thing I do give her credit though is whenever she gets approached with something she did that she shouldn't do, she be like, "Yeah, I did that. That That's was real. me." She she do to that. But when she's not doing that, or if it's something big enough, guess guess who gets the blame? The boy. Mm. That's all him. He get the blame. And the crazy part is, she, he'll get the blame for some shit that is no way in the world he can reach. He would have to climb up on a chair and jump. To get it. Hey, bro. I got but he two, get the blame. I got two words for you. Tommy Pickles. You right. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you I've right. never seen this, but there's a TikTok going around about these pandemic. And I know your son is three, but there's a TikTok, bro, about, the, about these pandemic babies. These little niggas something different, bro. They get to climbing. You know swinging what? Swinging on some shit. No, you may be on to something because people that I've known that have had babies like or been pregnant during the pandemic, mm-hmm. they say the same. They was like, yo, these the, the, I've had kids and these new babies, they, they're different. Now, my son, he was born... Right, 
in, in about a year or so before the pandemic. Oh, right. But like I was telling those before you got here, he 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 knows some shit. He yeah, knows bro, some I'm shit. But the pandemic about, babies. Them motherfuckers like is different. The X Men and shit, man, for real. Yes, like, for real. I remember I saw like, niggas got got visibility, all kind of shit. Yeah. I saw a black and uh, it was a black and white video only because it was like the little baby monitor camera, or whatever. These little niggas threw the little the toys that was in their crib on mm-hmm. the floor. First nigga sacrificed himself to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he came off the gate and just trust fall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put it all to- in God's hands. <laughs> into the toys. The other, and I shit you not. I promise you, this video exists out there. Go look for it. <laughs> other nigga mm-hmm. throws like the, the blanket over and the, the other baby holds the blanket and the other nigga shimmy down. So I'm like, bruh, <laughs> that is a high sway in heaven. How do you, how do you even, but as babies, how do you even have the weird thought to be like, okay, if we do this and shimmy down, that's what gets me. That's the thing. They just be figuring that shit yeah, out. Yeah, it's not necessarily the act. It's like, how did you put this together to do this? Yeah, bro, the, the video that I saw as a little man, it's two babies. They got, they got to be between two and one at mm-hmm. best. They're climbing up, which appears to be impossible to do from that height. Mm-hmm. And that height, right? So, but they're able to climb onto the to the counter, and little man's dinner on top of the uh, on top of the refrigerator, climbing down the fucking door yeah. like he's been doing this. Yeah. You need to catch up, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you the one ain't on to this new shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, Get in on this. That's why I'm like, nah, dog. They were trying to tell us stuff when it came out to Rugrats and Toy Story. You gotta keep your eyes on these oh, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's that's definitely a, a different kind of situation. When I saw that shit, I said, "Nigga, that is a plan and a plot." That's what I'm <laughs> I watching Oceans Two <laughs> unfold right now. And you know what made it even crazier to to understand how young these motherfuckers were? There were no words said. It was yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like babies <laughs> when they around that age, they can understand each other somehow, some way. They understand each other. Like I, oh, I, I they have to. Oh man, absolutely. Nah, but you know what though? It's, it's it's that weird telekinetic connection that they be having with other babies and dead people because i swear to god the dogs and kids when they just stare out in the space i'm like nah nah nah, nah, nah. what's yeah, over there seen some what's I'm, over I'm, there? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying the unfierce just gay like, right like, you are plotting somewhere you see something that you know you, you want to go for exactly mm-hmm. you you probably just like you wonder can you go for it <laughs> right he doesn't can look I, too can real can i do this but nah hmm. man that's yeah you, you, you gotta watch these children um well, with that being said, gentlemen, 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 I'm going to get a shirt that says gentlemen, gentlemen. Actually, <laughs> not going to get a shirt that says gentlemen, gentlemen, because you got to put like pause on it. <laughs> that but, uh, might be a good gentleman, gentlemen. Pause. pause. <laughs> that might be a good shirt. Are you ready? Let's do it. This or that. This or that. Actually, really quick before we get into this or that, did y'all see Lil Fizz apologize to Omarion on stage? You know what's I funny? seen it, but I didn't. I didn't listen to it because I didn't care it. enough. But I seen it and I, and I laughed, but then also felt bad. It was, it was like Fizz felt that pocket shrink. It was like you know what? <laughs> it was their first show back together. He felt that bad. No, it wasn't their first show back together. He pulled them out. Hey, what's your come on? Out and, Make a cameo. They're not on the bill. It's not yeah. Mario and Andrew. No, 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 I know that, but, but that's what I'm saying. He, he brought them out just to like do it like, real quick. He was like, hey, man, stop the record. He, that nigga pulled an offset. <laughs> hey, Cardi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that makes Mario just that much more of a savage to me because like, oh no, you can come on stage unless you apologize. Panera, is he still with her? Is he still with the baby? Nah, 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 she was with Dre, bro. Dr. Yeah, Dre. Yeah. She yeah. played, she played them. Yeah. What yeah. if Mario was like, Let's just finish this song after he apologized. Oh no! Listen, <laughs> what makes the apology so dope is that he said it, fit and and uh, Raspy's like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right, bye now. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I got a song to do. <laughs> I just yeah. wanted to see that y'all were yeah. here. That's all. And so as Amari's getting his little pop lock going, Fizz, but Fizz and Raspy just walking off real slow, like, well, bye y'all. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon. <laughs> Chabu, like, whatever. I got work in the morning anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to, I, I had to beat traffic. <laughs> Fizz, you you drove? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with, <laughs> roll with Raz, but he said he ain't going. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is that. Gabe, you want to go first? Fuck it, I'll do it. Um, all right, all right. Bam. Okay. Gun to your head. Would you rather lick your own dirty underwear, Jesus, or lick your own dirty socks? My socks. My socks. Yeah. So y'all saying they got smelly balls? 
Well, no, but I just know, <laughs> I, I, I just know in, in a twenty four hour period when I've when I've worn set underwear, and you know, getting out the car and mm-hmm. sitting at my desk, a lot and, of active, and that's not just I'm very active. It's not just your day. balls; it's also your crack. It's the crease. <laughs> I fart. <laughs> Close. We had a whole episode about my fart. <laughs> I'm not putting that. <laughs> no, and, and and then lick my dirty socks when I know all they do is just stay in the shoes all day. Mm. I lick that, no problem. Oh no, I'm going socks too. I definitely top of socks. my. I can lick the top of my socks. But you know what though? I can get a heel for a gun in my head. I, I can top of my socks. But yeah. you know what's so trash about the sock is if it's like an active day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What if it was a day you 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 was at the gym? Ran a game. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? You didn't did some shit before you, you got a chance to go home. No matter no matter what you do to your feet, everything everything on your body smells different. Mm-hmm. Everything on your body smells between because my my musk can smell different from your musk. Right. My must. Could smell different from your must. Right. You know what? At what all smells the same when they smell bad? Feet. It always smell like cheese popcorn. Well, see, that's why I said I would. You know, like when you when you put on the sock and it come up to your to your ankle to your leg. That's why I just looked that part. We were just on my leg. I just looked that. If part. you got a gun to your head and this nigga said draws a sock, he wants you to get that heel. <laughs> you think so? Right in my head, I'll eat that motherfucking sock. <laughs> what? You be sitting there. <laughs> you know, that season they make it too bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was walking to my car back to work. Cool. I'm with that. Um, we'll go back and forth because speaking of farts, mm-hmm. which which situation do you think was worse for the prostitute in the Chuck Berry sex tape? <laughs> Getting beat on the bathtub. Getting a fart in the mouth during the, <laughs> during the rim job. Oh, if I man. must answer, peed on and no, the fart in the mouth. Because it was, it was I was pee- thinking the same way. Yeah. I was like, peed on it. I was like, because the peed on you're already in water, so like it's already gross ass. But you're, but you're in water though, so you can always yeah. push that shit off. Yeah, a fart in the mouth will live with you forever. Yeah, that stays with you. You know, you get peed on, like you said, you get you get in the shower, you be cool, but you get farted on. No matter how many times you brush your teeth. Nigga, your man, mouth man. got farted on. Yeah. Mentally. Man, Mentally, it's yeah. still there. My, my yeah. breath still. Yo, you, you, you can close your, your nasal path. You can close your mouth tight. When that fart hits you, like no matter what you do, that smell is in your psyche now. You can't leave. If you know what I'm saying? If, How much you think he paid her? It's Chuck, it's Chuck Berry back then. Pretty sure it was a decent little penny. <laughs> is it enough sure? to get enough to get pissed and farted on? Clearly it was and get it recorded. Uh, he, 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 he paid her $300. Come probably. On, right. Some. Come on, get this fuck. She probably was one of them <laughs> he gas station He gave $40 in a bag of chips. <laughs> I get right home afterwards. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> For you to fart in my face, man? What? <laughs> Listen, if this is your first time listening to the Noise Podcast, do yourself a true service. And Google the Chuck Berry sex tape. Yeah. To this day, one of the funniest. Do you want to no go, go back and, and listen to that episode? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Am I yeah. on that one? I am on that one. Are you? I think so. You are on that one. Yes, you are. The, the yeah. infamous, no, because when you break it down the story. It's just so much more yeah, fucking funny. Because it's fucking hilarious. As you break down a story, like I can literally see that, like this shit is yeah. fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> and what's cool about it is he broke down the story and then. I watched the sex tape, so it made it that much better. I'm telling you, like, to this day, the, pff, ooh, that shit <laughs> that is kills so me. Funny to yeah, me. <laughs> but no, yeah. it's the setup to it. Give my asshole a little kiss. <laughs> Give me a little. She was kiss. down there for like three seconds yeah. before he Give farted. Me a little kiss. So that means he already had. He, he already knew he was gonna fart. So he got down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's in for a surprise when she get down there. <clears throat> and not only did he water. had the confidence, like I'm gonna fart in this bitch mouth. And still have the confidence right. to do what, I, what had, I'm doing. He had, he was all smiling. Yeah. He couldn't wait to bust it off. <laughs> he couldn't wait. He probably was sitting on that for a minute. He was like, well, I don't want the room to smell like it. So <laughs> she she got to go somewhere. Why not your mouth? Like a, she got to hit that like a bong. <laughs> <laughs> to the head, baby. To the head. He swallowed it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> Yo, imagine he would have to go around and tell us, well, yeah, she swallowed. They think, ah, you feel me? We talk about two different things. Two, two, brother, different, things, two different things. Players. You ain't lived yet. That's what that's telling me. <laughs> you ain't lived yet. Go ahead. What do you tell your partners? Like, hey, bro, I, I find that bitch mouth. Why? That's not this question. <laughs> Did you kiss her other one? Oh, you girls, you extra girls, bro. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> you, not, um, you You just ate your own ass, bro. I ain't did that. Um, this one's kind of, it could be kind of, huh? I guess. Would you rather, okay, you're at a party. Like, the party's jumping. Right, mm. but they only got one bathroom. So, would you rather poop in the only toilet at the party, knowing that you clog it up, or poop in the bushes in the backyard? Damn, yeah, I feel bad for that toilet. 
I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll, I'll really like just shit and probably leave the party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I saw this, I said exactly what I was thinking. You know, I'm gonna I'm let it go. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go and, then, and then bounce and, and but, try my best to where nobody sees me go in or out and bounce. But those who know me, like, yo, your Jay just slid hella quick. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I got shit to do, bro. What yeah. the nigga said on the house party, he, like, he could shit some bricks. <laughs> he said, man, <laughs> more Tyson like, jaw. What like, Kevin huh? describing is that exact moment. Like, bro, like the most awkward time for, your, for the toilet to actually. Clog on you is when you just, you just lay down the law, my nigga. It's yeah. 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 when you need yeah. it to flush the most. Yeah, or I just be like, hey, I gotta go. Somebody's in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go home real quick. Somebody's in there. And- or you flip it like, hey, bro, somebody fuck the toilet, bro. <laughs> or that, yeah. Somebody out of pocket for that, bro. You really out of pocket have for that. Bro. Have y'all ever done that? Y'all, y'all fucked up a bathroom. You knew you fucked up the bathroom, but then go out. Hey, yo, somebody fucked that bathroom up. Have you at ever work. Did that? Yeah, at work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, bathroom toward the back. And uh, bro, I don't know what I ate, but I, I mean, something was not agree- agreeing with me at all. When my dear nigga blew up, sweated the whole joint, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, literally, whoever came in before me had already did something too. So by the time I flushed my shit, it it's was not yeah, flushing. It got double. I was like, uh, boom! Oh my god, me uh, out of order, son. <laughs> I was my life in the bathroom, bro. Y'all did some foul shit. <laughs> some hell of foul yeah, shit. Listen, story time with Los. I ain't no problem space speaking on. I'm a man, damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> one of my initiations required us to eat a, uh, a variety of foods that. I was about to say one of them crocodiles to take some shit out and be like, Los. Yeah. Oh, no. We, 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 like, no I was going to be like, Los, like come like on, that. my nigga. Like, no, no. We, it's, we, all, we, it's, we, all edi- it's all edible foods, mm-hmm. and it's all food that. It's strangely popular. However, mm-hmm. it's some shit that I we never ate before mm-hmm. yeah. or after. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so we, we had this food and you know, everything finished. We finished up, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, great time, celebration, yay, brotherhood. Uh, that night, I went to take a shit in uh, the dorms. They only had like, you know, the public bathrooms. So we didn't have a bathroom in my room. We you know, had to use public bathrooms. Mm-hmm. So first of all, first time in my life I ever shat for 45 minutes. Cause it just didn't stop. Uh, <laughs> by the time I got done, nigga, the floor, the fucking entire floor of the fucking door was me. Jesus Christ. And nigga, I was fogging windows. You feel me? <laughs> like, Jesus I was Christ. like, whoo, but lucky for me, it was like four in the morning. Niggas was already asleep. Yeah, asleep. So I was able to just sneak back to my room. Waking niggas up out of their sleep. Like, Y'all smell that? And then you get quiet. I can tell you, nothing is more, nothing pisses you off more than be like smelling somebody else's shit. Like, bruh, the fuck? <laughs> it's bad, especially when, you, when, your, when your senses are high because they get it to your taste buds. <laughs> you like, Fuck, man. Yeah, I'm fucking pork fried rice. I can fucking taste it. <laughs> 7 Eleven hot dogs. Killing the dude. <laughs> Cut it out, my nigga. For real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need to see somebody. All right. Here's the last one. Um, would you rather have intense pain for 10 minutes or nagging pain for 24 hours? When you say nagging pain, you mean like your girl just in your ear? <laughs> no, na- <laughs> nagging pain. Yeah, that's not nagging. Like, like oh, that's nagging, just, nagging that's just pain. Nagging. Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess it would depend on what the pain, the, the, yeah, the nagging pain where is. The, yeah, where the pain is at. And then I because 10 nagging. minutes, like intense pain, could feel longer than 10 minutes. And then some people can't even handle that 10 minutes. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. So I've been, so I get, I've been it, in, it, in intense pain for... Shit, two, three weeks, and it was like, uh, yeah, give me a gun, bro. Let's just wrap it up yeah. real quick. This is too much. Now, nagging pain. Depending on the nagging pain, I might, I might go with, I might go with that. I'm not, I mean, I don't handle pain well at all. Not but really. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna with nagging pain because anything intense, I just can't handle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run through that real quick. Ten minutes. I don't need that all day. <laughs> Like I said, it would depend on what it is. If I if I if I sprain my ankle real bad, you know what I mean. It takes time to heal. I can I can kind of deal with something. All like twenty four hours of a sprained ankle. Yeah, because I can sit no. my ass down. No, I mean like like my no. fucking knee hurts. Some, some yeah, I can I sit can my deal. ass down. Nah, I can do it. Tense pain? Nah. Nah, I nah. take that stub toe for a quick ten minutes and then just be good for the rest I, of the day. I learn, I learn like with certain pain. For instance, uh, when I was when I the very first time I had my first surgery, um. You know, they got to give you IVs and, and shit like that. The nurse, she was trying, this is how I learned this. She was trying to put the IV in like in a, 
not not here, but like in a good spot so I can still move around. It's a nerve somewhere on your arm, bro. And she was trying to, you know, get into the vein and hit the nerve. And she didn't, you can tell it wasn't like, she didn't hit it, hit it, but she hit it enough. Brother, that shit hurt so bad. Bro, I was, nerve be fucked I up. was bawling. Like that <laughs> shit hurt. That was probably to date the last time I've cried, but I was, was bawling. So I'm like, <laughs> this man and that, that was I'm intense. Really that was intense for me, but I couldn't do that pain for 10 minutes. No way in hell. No way. Man. I'm, I'm doing nagging because it's no way. It's no way. Because that that nagging pain not only does it hurt, it just makes you fucking mad. Yeah, too. it absolutely makes me mad. Like, God, what's this shit? Just it, stop. You bump into something and just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> but the nagging yeah. pain, though, like 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 you said, like stomping your foot, like stomping your toe. Man, yeah. I, I was just getting there. Could you take a uh, like you know when you you stub your toe in that very first 10, 15 seconds? Could you take that pain for ten minutes? I. Oh no, <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. And that's not even like the intense, intense pain. But see, but so yeah. But on the flip side, uh-huh. though, that ten minutes would include that fifteen second delay for the pain to really kick up on you. Okay. So if that was the issue, I was so say can that. you handle it for nine, four uh, minutes and forty five seconds? Nothing, yeah. Ah, uh, now nah, I'm good. I, I've dealt with it with a, with a stub toe that hurt like a bitch for a solid five for sure. Yeah. So. Let me tell you when good. I when I was doing and here here's why I say that when I when I had the shingles. Mm-hmm. And the old people shit. When I, when I had the old people, because I'm apparently I'm out here Benjamin Button. <laughs> but when I when I had the old people it's shit, it's so funny. Like, like yo, you lost your shingles. What? What? <laughs> huh? he, he's, he's he forty six. Shit, does he be talking about at four a.m. on TV? Like, what? <laughs> you know they make some. They make a prescription for that. He's got to wait. You know till two a.m. on BET. But they 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 go show some shit for him. <laughs> but uh, when I had that shit, because before you go get the meds or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just constant nagging pain. And it was, mm-hmm. so I had a headache. Oh, and Jay, you remember when I finally decided to go? Yeah. I had a headache the entire fucking day. I couldn't, like, I can't even say, I can't imagine sitting with that pain because I have sat with that pain. Oh, we, so I know what 24 hours of a nagging pain. Are we considering yeah. headaches and nagging pain? Absolutely. No, I, I do a headache for it. I, I can do a headache. I can do a headache then. Something talking, crazy uh, for 10 uh, minutes. A strong, strong joint, bro. I mean, yeah. it make you want to cry, bro. Like, yeah. Like, so bad, I want to fucking cry. But the day you talk about, though, like, I remember he walked in and, and he was like, listen, bro, I'm just, I'm not feeling it, bro. I, I got to go to the yard. Bro, go. As the brother, I'm concerned as fuck. Like, bro, you good? Da, da, da. Right. Come back. I think I got shingles. <laughs> How? <laughs> Turns <laughs> out, like, if you got shingles, you can get shingles. Like, wait, what the fuck? That's a one in a five rare right, case right yeah, there. For sure. Yeah, yeah. One that it was so crazy. I didn't even know black people got it. <laughs> when she was like, uh, she was like, yeah, normally, you know, older people get it just because their immune system is a lot lower. But a lot of times when uh, people get shingles, it's because she said one other reason. She said, or stress. I was like, oh, I've had plenty of that. So I guess that, that makes <laughs> that, sense. I'm, I've been brewing I'm, these. I've right, been brewing the shingles. In the d- <laughs> dictionary you stress for so stress. bad, you got shingles, nigga? But let me tell you how, let me tell you how people ain't shit, right? <laughs> I tell, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm over here telling motherfuckers a story, like, cause they people, I've been telling people, like, no, I'm just, you know, I, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to go out or anything like that. I yeah. got a crazy headache, like, I'm in mass fucking just pain, my face well. is swelling. Right, right, right. I'm not good. So once I finally found out what it was, it was like, yeah, man, it turns out I got shingles. Shingles? Is that contagious? <laughs> I'm doing fine, thank you, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate. It. I'm a soldier. I'm the one going through it. Goddamn it. But um, yeah, people ain't shit. But yeah. Yeah. Try not to stretch because shingles is a motherfucker. Shingles. <laughs> I don't want to try. Old people be dealing with that shit and not calling it quits right there and there. <laughs> but um, yeah. So anyway, I'm uh, going nagging, dog. Give me yeah, the nagging. I, I, I go nagging, man. Actually. Yeah. yeah that's nah, let me just get that about the way. I'm good. I can't have 24 hours of that. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Um, <laughs> that, that was your last one. Yeah. Oh, you got. Oh, yeah. That's right. You, you said you had kind of one specific, right? I got one specific. Um, now, this is coming from um, a video that was posted, I think, on TikTok. And this is about um, Mormons. About, about Like the religion Mormons? Specifically in Utah. Okay. Right? Now, there, there was these... these I'm, I can't call them kids. They're definitely like in their 20s. But, you know, based on how Mormons live their lives, you know, you can't eat certain shit, you can't do certain shit, and sex is one of the things you just can't do. Mm-hmm. So they improvised. You gotta get a nut somewhere. So yeah, you fucking in the ass. 
Not even that <laughs> extreme. Okay? I, like, I've, no, I'm, I'm gonna find a way. No, I, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm saying I've heard that. Hole, I've heard I'm Mormon. If I can't do that, I can do it. I've, I've heard Mormon girls doing that. No, this one in particular. This is called um, soaking. Now soaking, like when you soak your feet. I thought it was too, but it's not. I, I, I thought it meant soaking, like you're sad. I'm like that's sexual. Ugh. No. We just <laughs> we just sit next to each other and pout. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, ooh, I'm <laughs> soaking the shit out you right now. <laughs> but, but soaking is basically this thing that it any kind of one night stands, that's off the table. Like you, you gotta plan this out. Soaking is you got your girl, mm-hmm. both of y'all are Mormon. You put the dick in, so you actually you actually penetrate her, mm-hmm. but you do not move. Somebody has to come in. Jump on the bed or whatever you're on at the time when both of you are there. Nah, I'm going to hell that day. And has to jump on the bed, <laughs> and it, but it's not you actually penetrating her. It's just you're, you're just now moving. They're doing the movement. They're doing the movement for you. Fuck so that. So to tell you, you're not breaking your religion. I'm like, no, we broke her. We we breaking the religion. I said we're going to hell today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, 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 Cause yeah. she she gonna think that that's her him or her jumping on the bed. That's yeah. me putting in these strokes. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm not about to just sit here <laughs> and my dick marinates. Now who who do, who do you get to jump on the bed? Who agrees <laughs> to that? Oh, yeah, I jump on the bed while you got your dick it in it. Like, who does that? I look out for you, my nigga. It t- it takes away any one night stand plans. Like, all right, just listen. So Friday, me and Josephine, I'm gonna get my nigga uh, Big Phil to. You know what I'm saying? Go get a jump. Big Phil. What if what if Phil falls off the bed? That's it for mood. That's done. It's <laughs> done. What if you ain't a twin? What if Phil falls off the bed and cracks his skull? You got to take him to the ER. They go. So what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we was um. Doc, you ever heard of so- soaking? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so yeah, so I guess my my this is that would be. Would you? Want to be a what we are? We're popular podcast people. You're in the you're in the million dollar range. However, you must live the Mormon lifestyle, including soaking, mm-hmm. or B, stay how you are <laughs> and get all the pussy you want to. Well, I mean, I'm fine how I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm more familiar. With yeah, being I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm not. I'm not. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not doing. It. It's too many variables with with. So, so imagine, there's too many variables with that. Imagine nah. being a single celebrity, right? And then you get a groupie come back to the crib, and she, and you know, what I'm saying she thinking it's about to be some shit happening, and he just puts it in, and she just stares like, "What's going on?" One second. <laughs> hey, yo, bro. <laughs> Chad, come in, bro. Sorry, I'm late, man. It was hella traffic. Yo, okay. <laughs> it just immediately no, kissed uh, the jumping uh, on imagine, the bed. Imagine that sex tape coming out like. What the fuck's going on here? Like, why are you jumping on the bed? Yeah. So wait, but you said they they let it go in and just put the head in. I'm no, pre- no. Full blown rock hard dick goes in, mm-hmm. right? But you don't thrust. You don't. Nah. If you, all, all, literally, all you do is penetrate. And I guess the loophole, the loophole in religion is as long as you're not actually like thrusting, mm-hmm. like actually like fucking, mm-hmm. it's not sex. Man, look, I'm gonna be honest. If I'm a Mormon, and I'm assuming, you know, I mean, I ain't sexually active. She's a Mormon. She ain't sexually active. But, you know, I, I'm rock hard. She wet or whatever the case is. I ain't put it in there, but uh, I might not. <laughs> said, That's about to be that. <laughs> yeah, I might. If we both, like, mad, excited, we ain't never did this before. We, You know what I mean? It's, it's Yeah, I might. Now I might. we got a big Ron, issue. She Ron, pregnant. Right. Ron don't need to come in here because I didn't, I didn't bust my load already. I'm we, nah. We don't even need you, Ron. We don't even need you, Ron. But let's just say Ron did come in there, and he did get kind of jump it on the bed. So you got your nut off by simply just not moving to have him do. So you, do you tell do you tell him, yo, jump harder, bro. Can you not? Can you exactly, jump faster, bro? No, not even that. Can you imagine how irritated you are? You now are that you that you started soaking. Got your nut off. She about to get pregnant. Then some nigga just comes jumping on the bed. <laughs> I'm already frustrated trying to figure out what's in my next life move. Here your ass come. Do 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 do. Or what happens when you're done? 
Ryan goes by the minutes. Y'all put your like, do, do you just, do you, do you be like, yeah, Ryan, you can stop jumping on the bed now. What symbolizes like, being done? Yeah, like, what if Ryan keeps jumping? What if Ryan <laughs> keeps jumping? Percy, I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan keeps jumping and mad my dick off. Then dude. what happens? Then, you know what I'm saying? Then where you go from there? Then, like, if you want, like, rough, do Ron and Seth come in and, and yeah. they kind of jump off beat with each other? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this, and I, I'm not saying this about, like, their whole religion or anything like that, but. With Mormon women, that don't always be the case. Oh no! I in middle school I had dated this this Mormon chick, right? And because she was Mormon, and me being the guy I am, especially in middle school, I'm like trying to be respectful. You know what I mean? We broke up. She said I was moving too slow, and in my head, I'm like, "What? You know what are you she talking about?" The dick, Kev. What yeah, you she, she's like, "She's right. That's exactly what it was." I'm like, "What are you she's talking about?" Soaking, baby. And, and when she doing? explained what it was, I'm like. Well, shit, you could have been said that. I was trying to be nice. Cause you, well, no, it just wasn't working. I could, all right, bitch, you want but me have to you soak? Ever heard of soaking? Soak. You, trying yeah. to, you trying to soak one time. <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. <laughs> go, go Can go. you imagine going into it not knowing you about to soak and the chick telling you, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. What are you talking about? Just let us, just, huh? In comes Beth. <laughs> <laughs> so while they sitting there, like, are they making out? Were they, were they like are they just sitting there just, just laying there like what 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 else is transpiring the, the picture that she painted when I, when I saw the video was dudes on top of her penetrating her but not but not actually thrusting penetration so they just Tom there's a video for this not a video of them doing like, it like not a video of, of them doing it but like what it is yeah. oh okay yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to check this out cause yeah. this is that, that's so, fucking funny the, the new funny. craze coming to 2022 that is fucking funny that's hilarious do you have to Wear a condom when you sew. Hey, that's a good question. <laughs> that's the question I have. I'm, I'm like, are the condoms involved here? Like, because technically, it's if you kind gotta, of a waste. If, <laughs> if, 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 right. If you, if you, you ain't got to worry about it anyway, breaking or nothing. If you get a nut off anyway from set soaking, it's like, so do you wear a condom? Bro, or, what if you get an are, S? But aren't you still breaking religion from busting off? What if you get an I? STD from soaking? Oh, I would be fucking livid. <laughs> I, I did. would be so. I should have just fucked. I, I would have fucked. Been, I, I, I ain't fucked. No, I, I ain't never fucked nothing. I would, okay, so you get an STV, STD from soaking. Who to blame? We blaming the girl. We blaming Ron for jumping on the bed. Because <laughs> if he ain't jump on the STD. bed, I wouldn't be in there like that. Right. <laughs> so if you jump a little ladder next time, I would have caught the shit. <laughs> Ryan had his rhythms off. Shit. It was that double jump that caused the the goddamn HIV. <laughs> or what if what if you ain't using no rubber, right? You was like, I'm gonna do the pull out method. But Ron's jumping on the bed. So as soon as you get ready to pull out, he goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> he just like then, then what happens? Like it's so it's too many variables. That guy, bro. Man, that's momentum. <laughs> it's too many variables. Nigga, <laughs> now you gotta fight Ron, bro. Yeah, you can run for the whole move. Or bro. you or you was able to pull out. But your load went all over Ron because he if, there too. What if Ron falls? That's not Ron at that point. What if Ron falls, but not off the bed? <laughs> what if Ron falls, not off the bed, but on y'all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a First problem. of all, that's going to hurt your back. <laughs> that's going to hurt everything. That's a hard story. How do, you, how do you continue soaking if Ron and fell on you? How do you continue? Does Ron help you out with the... Child support, child support payments? <laughs> right. This was a, he, is this like a three part thing? thing? This was he's a three part <laughs> He's to blame for the whole thing. He's actually the most important piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Because when you think, if we're going by their logic, I was just laying here. I didn't do nothing. So now I got a baby off of this. Ron, you got to take half of responsibility of this I baby. Well, I told you I was jumping. <laughs> I, I was already over. done. Right. They, they slid in like a hot dog. <laughs> Man, yeah, it was just sitting there, you know, bun and oven. You what feel happens me? if you do this? And then Ron was like, well, shit, I want to do this, too. Do y'all switching? Now you jump on the bed? No, nah, now you just trade. Is that a soaking train? <laughs> <laughs> That's a soaking it train. sounds like anything wait, is possible so, at this point. Okay, wait, it's called soaking. So what is that, a tugboat, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> a, cru- a cruise line? <laughs> it's a cruise line. <laughs> so what's the origin? Motherfuckers just jumping on beds all the place? Oh, exactly. Just a mm-hmm. bunch of motherfuckers coming to the beds and just jump. Ooh, what happened? You live with your parents and you and you, you done did this, had somebody jump on the bed, but the bed break. How do you explain this to your parents? I'm much like, are your fucking shoes on while you jumping on my bed? <laughs> That's a good question too. Like, hey, your shoes on or off? Kids it's, gotta be off. Listen, bro, it's, it's kids. They ain't taking them shoes off. <laughs> Imagine Rod jumping on your bed and some steel toes and catch your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, motherfucker! 
<laughs> and he fell on you. And he fell on you because oh, you know that's the man. next step. Ah, ah! Oh, <laughs> Ron man. Now me and Ron got to fight. <laughs> me and Ron was cool <laughs> right up until then. You, I was gonna let you, you, you go next, out. motherfucker. You, you know, I would. Like, you put some bullshit, bro. I want to know, know what like the the conversation is <laughs> leading up to that. Like, like the conversation. You know, it between, starts off. You ever heard of soaking? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> between the guy and the girl, I want to know the conversation, so and I want to know the conversation between the third party that got to jump on the bed. Especially if, let's say, the third party that got to jump on the bed is not warming. And because of the, there's a third party, are you are, are we naked now, or is this just like, all right, let me just put my dick out the uh, the hole? <laughs> just gotta yeah, go from there. like am I just pulling it to the side? Just, like, yeah, what's going yeah, I, on? I dress up, put the pants to the side, and Ron don't see nothing. I don't really see nothing, and we just kind of get our soak on. What's the yeah. conversation the next day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you, what you so again? many questions. Cause this is like this is like apparently this is big in the Mormon community, really, especially in Utah. So it makes you wonder, like, all right, so what happens when God forbid or wh- whoever the Mormons worship? Uh, it's also God. <laughs> yeah, God, okay. it's God. <laughs> so, so God forbid. So so God forbid that you know your parents find out. You're yeah, much more strict. <laughs> this guy ties his tie all the way to the top. It's like a top button. You feel me? So it's like the controversy of the whole thing. Like, all right, so y'all arranged this. This is this is arranged. Had to be. What if what if Ryan had to work? <laughs> right. Oh, we can't solve today. Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan had to go in. <laughs> and I'm not. And I'm not changing my shift so you can get some pussy. No, Bro, I'm, I'm not, not doing that. Yeah, but he's not getting pussy. He's soaking. Right. <laughs> he's getting. I'm not chaining myself to jump on a bed for you. <laughs> so what is that now? Is that just and yams? I can go next? Nah. I mean, yeah. Good. It's it's too many questions. Listen, now this is to all the Mormons out there. If you have soap before, please, please mm-hmm. tell us your yeah. story. But to answer your question, no, I'll be a regular nigga. I'm good. No, I'm, I'm solid. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the strokes. Yeah. That, that definitely sh- slows up uh, the whole logic of sloppy seconds. Like, you, you didn't do anything. Yeah. shit sloppy about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> probably the most cleanest sex or... Soaking that was wait ever. so wait it's because it's soaking so not sloppy seconds say where it's not a train it's a cruise line it's not sloppy seconds it's a neat seat <laughs> a neat seat <laughs> a neat seat that still sounds gross for some reason I don't know it's a lot cleaner than sloppy seconds <laughs> <laughs> you just hold that boy it's a neat seat are you a hoe? what if she or what if what, what if what if she get grown and you know she or or yeah she gets grown young adult and she's dealing with somebody you ask her her body count does she count soaking nope. How do you how, how do you even offend somebody like oh soaker hoe bitch like how do you even how do you offend somebody like that? She's a super you. soaker. Super soaker. She's a super soaker. Oh yeah. What oh up, super man. soaker? <laughs> start, you call that bitch Nerf? <laughs> so, I'm not fucking with y'all, man. I'm not fucking Me with y'all. Like, oh, you know Marianne? Yo, super soaker, bro. Super soaker. Swear oh, to God. I'm not fucking with y'all. Swear to God, nigga. No pumps, nigga. That shit good. Super soaker. Like, you know? and, she, and she'll bring in a nigga to do the jumping for you, my nigga. All you gotta do is be there. And this is why not one single New York nigga is more. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> that whole car. Yo, dead ass. The bitch is super soaker. Right. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so did y'all see uh, randomly um, Big Ticket announced that Rap City's coming back? Oh, no, yeah, not that, bro. I, Donnie I did, Simpson, oh, Green Eyes himself is bringing back the, video song. But is, is BT Donnie, Donnie Simpson? Simpson? Oh, really? Bringing back video song. Bringing back video, video song. And, and they already said that both are going to show music videos. Mm-hmm. Is BT trying to sneak music videos back in, or is that only going to be on uh, they whack ass streaming service? I had to really dig. It's probably going to be on a streaming service. No, I think they no, all no, going no. to. This is going on BET. Swear. Listen, really? Swear. I didn't even realize that video so been back. Uh, they have uh, episodes on Tubi. The, the two B exclusive, which is the craziest place to even put Donnie Simpson, but nah, it sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but anyway. But the fact that Donnie's been doing video so on Tubi this whole time, and BT like, yo, we want that back. Wow. So wow. now, 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 now do they get video so back? You get Donnie back as the host. That's crazy. And then Tigger, did he age? Nah, not really. <laughs> I mean, he, he clearly did age, but you still he, look. He's very much the old green eyes. Not his got you, for sure. got you for sure. And then Tigger, did, they, they gave Tigger a whole new background for rap. Yeah, I seen that. But how do y'all feel about that? Like, I embrace it. I definitely embrace it because we one of, one of the the continuous complaints that we have is 
how the fuck are you a music channel? You don't put no damn music. Yeah. And, and, and that and for MTV, yeah. MTV too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like the fact that we're going back to that time to where we, we, we can now like 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 our kids and I can now come home from school and pop on Rap City. Pop on video so maybe not video so but pop on rap city. I'm about to say ain't no kids but on video no, so m- maybe not video so but this old pop green on rap eyes, city. Donna Simpson, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See uh, Uzi and them mm. kicking freaks out with like that's this is for them. This is their that generation's didn't rap city. Sound. No, it didn't. It's, I was just about to say, no. That, that's my problem. I, I agree with you. Like it's not they, for us. They, they'll be able to embrace it, but see that that's also my problem too. Because yes, I agree, they, they may not be for us, but if that's the case, you can't say we're bringing Rap City back because these younger kids, they don't know what that is. We do. So for you, for, for it not to be us, but you're bringing something back that we are, that we know of, I have an issue with that. I don't want to see none of these, well, it's a couple of them that I think probably be good in the booth, but majority of these rappers, no, you can't have them go freestyle. I think the only way that it's going to be good, and I really hate to sound like one of them old niggas, but because this is of our generation and it's called Rap City, I think if he hones in just on rapper rappers, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like only have niggas that can really get busy, you know, that be in there because that's one of the issues why Rap City went away in the first place. Because mm-hmm. when it when it was Mad Links and Q Stretch Four, whatever the fuck that dude, Q Four Five, Q Four Five, yeah. there we go. He couldn't get a he couldn't get a lot of rappers that people knew of, like household names that people knew of. He was just shit. I ain't got nobody. But, but hey, my nigga, could you come do this? Come rapper. Yeah. That's kind of the beauty of it because, like, even this past weekend, um, as we're recording this episode now. D Smoke just dropped over the weekend. Uh, by the way, fantastic album. By the way, War War and Wonders by D Smoke, fantastic album. Um, but the rollout to the album now has changed so drastically to where when your favorite rapper drops a project, he's doing you know outside of the, the normal like Breakfast Club or Ebro in the Morning or, or whomever. Yeah, speaking in my ear, you love. I'm low? All right. Yeah, yeah. Outside of like you know Breakfast Club or Ebro in the Morning, you have no real outlet to go to to probably pub your shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, we come from the era of, uh, if, I hate to use it as an example, but Bow Wow. When Bow Wow was dropping some new shit, oh, 106 Park was active. Mm-hmm. Everybody, like, you made sure you tuned in. And then, and then, and then us as younger cats, back when like Freestyle Friday or, yeah. you know, Dance Crew shit was happening, bro, we used to look forward to that shit, bro, because like, to see somebody that we knew on there, was well, dope, and if you know for us, one hundred six is like TRL. So, do you expect D Smoke to go on one or to go on Rap City? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you for expect sure. it to be good? Yeah, and I expect D Smoke to be on there just because he got big off of doing reality TV right. type deals. You know well, I was just saying him because that's who we were last talking about. But yeah. no, I, I agree with you guys. I expect him to be on there yeah. too. I just don't see a lot of these newer acts. Being there and it being good, I think it. it oh, no. I think it have a chance. I think a lot of the newer acts have a chance to, I guess, lower their stock by going on that show than up in their stock. That's what I'm saying. They had they they're gonna have to be real strategic with it. And they're gonna have to play to the crowd that Rap City was created for. Because first of all, you how these kids work now. If you're 30 and up, you're old. So anything yeah. that was big to you as a 30 year old is 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 corny to me. So no, none of none of these new kids are running back to Rap City for one, two. Just the name Rap City alone is gonna is gonna throw them off because they don't even consider themselves rappers. They consider themselves rock stars. True, you know what I mean. So they're they're gonna automatically think, oh, this is some boom bap hippity hop type shit, some rapity rap type shit. So if they go into this with the mindset of capturing a new audience, they're gonna fail. They're gonna fail completely. Cause at the end of the day, even even with Big Tick, Big Tick is like what forty six. Mm. They ain't trying to hear no Tick uh, about fifty. Yeah, about fifty. Sure. Yeah, ain't trying to hear about no fifty year old talking hip hop. Yeah, I I mean naturally I do want it to be successful. I, I want it to be good. You know what I mean? I definitely will check out at least the first episode, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere because kind of of, of what you said, like these kids are not gonna take to to this being a rap type show and the people that would our generation like you're not tailoring the show from there i don't i don't see any 30 year olds that's gonna want to hear a fucking nle chopper or or a a little yachty i don't i don't i don't see that happening so i do in turn i think it goes i I think it goes down i I definitely see that happening. and then also if you haven't noticed that the rise in popularity 
when it comes to uh, the Hip Hop Awards now. Like, at one point, at 33 years old, I used to laugh at the fact that BT has the Hip Hop Awards now as in Atlanta. Like, like, bro, this is corny. But at the same time, though, you witness the the rise about, like, bro, like, yeah, it's cool to get a Grammy, but really, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? I know that my fans fuck with me for this reason on this level. So now that you have this 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 platform to where you you go there because you're more celebrated there than just tolerated, you know what I'm saying? Rap city, it, rap city to me is gonna work much better because where we are today in hip hop. Like I said, at one point, no one gave a fuck about the hip hop award from BT. Now it's probably one of the biggest award shows today. Okay, so you think people are gonna care more about rap city now than what they did 20 years ago when it was out? No, not at all. No, I, I kind I kind of do. Honestly, like you like, seriously do. Yeah, I do. And and, and the reason why I said wow. that is because, for example, this year alone, this year we got amazing albums from Tyler, Cole, Nas. Great. All this could have easily been an interview in a freestyle rap city. Great. We got that this year, but uh, to totality, hip hop is horrible right now. But I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about this year. This year alone, like the, the, we, the, they, but they can't base a show off just this year. You have to because rap city. I'm, I'm sorry, not rap city. The hip hop releases this year, even though you may feel like it was shitty, there's still at least seven or eight albums that motherfuckers feel like are fantastic. No, I feel like we, this year we, was, we, was. We may not care for them, but the ones like like for right now, my favorite album this year is definitely Tyler Creator. No, I think this year, trip. this year it was they definitely had some heavy hitters, but we know this show is not coming out this year, right? And what ultimately what Kev is saying is at some point they're gonna have to work their way around to the to the trash niggas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you can only you have Nas on Rap City so many times. You can only have D Smoke on Rap City so many times, and they're gonna have to incorporate, you know, a lot of these cats that are super popular because the ratings is what's gonna mean the most. Because that's the second side of it. Rap City is definitely garnered towards us for sure, for sure. But do you have cable? I got Fire Stick. I watch every team. Do you have I, cable? Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever's on BT is gonna be on BT Plus. You already know. Yeah, but who got? Do you have BT Plus? I don't, I don't want it. Do you, exactly. So I'm saying, like, eventually it's going to get to the place where they have to cross no, but that it, line. It's, it sounds like y'all don't think it's going to work because you, you you have to you have to bring in those little niggas. You, you, you don't give a no, fuck. About. No, it's not. So it, you're saying that they don't? So they're just going to play all just like shit well, that we catered to, bro? Because because hip hop, you're contradicting yourself. No, Jay. no, no, no. I'm not. What I'm saying is. Hip hop has always been a young man's game. We like who we like. We love who we love. And at our age, I can't expect them to put on Kendrick Nas on every episode. Right. So you're gonna expect them to put on a whole bunch of trash niggas on every you have episode, to, bro? So you, then it's not catered to us. That's our whole. Going back to our whole point, so but, it can be catered to us. Then. But no, you, I'm saying I'm saying catered to us because we are hip hop. We like we like we like it in hip hop. Whether we like it or not, it's still hip hop, bro. It, it, it could be doo doo soaking trash. But it's still hip hop, though. First of all, soaking is the thing to do in Mormon country, Utah. So don't even. <laughs> yeah, you know I don't think too many hip hop artists jumping on beds. But <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Uzi would do it. I think Uzi has. To. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, ultimately, it, ultimately, like, 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 let's let's even get, let's even get out of our feelings of hip hop and and the culture and everything like that. And let's go directly what they actually care about: the TV ratings. They're not gonna get them because, like I said. Niggas our age don't have cable and do not follow BET whatsoever because we fear another Medea movie is going to come on. For one, young niggas aren't going to necessarily care about what the niggas that they follow are doing hip hop wise because one one thing about Big Tiggy, he kept that shit about the music. Mm -hmm. He kept that shit about, you know what I'm saying, true, true. the bars and everything like that. They don't care about that kind of stuff. They care about a good time. So even though this person is their favorite, they're not going to care about, you know, what they're going to talk about some hip hop shit. And nine times out of ten, they probably won't even get invited back anyway. And then give give one of these little niggas just enough time. They'll be like, man, Rap City, an old nigga show, and then it's dead. Then it's dead in the that's water. All, yeah, that's all it's going to take. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, I'm not saying it's not going to be enjoyable for what for the people that we're going to be able to enjoy because, I'm sorry, you bring back any of the shows that we used to fuck with. With today's production quality, with today's lyricism, oh my God, I'm going to love when J. Cole goes on Rap City. I'm going to yeah. love when Kendrick goes on Rap City. But just viewership wise, it's going to tank because that's not that's not controversial opinion. They would have had a better chance of bringing back TRL and 106 and Park before bringing back Rap City. I agree with that. Had they announced that it was the return of 106 Especially and Park, 106 and Park, 106 and Park would be that. huge right now. I well, the reason, why, agree with the reason that. why 106 won't come back because they try to bring back TRL 
and it didn't work. It worked terribly. DC Young Flow was hosting and it didn't work. Well, either. I can see that TRL not really working because, I mean, if we're being honest, the stuff that was played on TRL, even though I know they would play rap every it was now pop and then. Shit. Yeah. That, well, and well, pop well, doesn't well, run the, the culture right now. It is hip hop. Yeah. So. They could bring back 106 in Park with two TikTok stars, and the shit would be huge. I agree. The shit will be gigantic, but they're bringing back an old show with its original host. We're not the consumer. We're not the we're not the consumer anymore. That's not us anymore. And not only them. Not only is it the original host, but it's the original host who's embedded in hip hop like we are, right? Deeply. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. You know, publicly speaking, yeah, he's gonna give shine and credit to a lot of the young artists coming up. Mm. But deep down, that nigga know Blueface is trash. <laughs> I doubt Blueface does rap city anytime soon. I'm pretty, sure I'm pretty sure he will. I'm pretty sure he will. That this is definitely a, 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 an agree to disagree situation because I have hope for for the new rap city. I really do. I, I feel like while you have to expect the trash wants to pull up, because they're gonna pull up. I also feel like with a personality like Big Tigger, it's still in good hands. Always be, like, bro, to to put in that kind of confidence and Big Tigger come back. The same confidence you put it to Donnie fucking Simpson, who hasn't been on a TV since when? 97, 98? I appreciate it because I feel like they're going to force the hand to kind of go back to that. Because one thing about this generation now, this is probably some of the best music videos we've ever seen. In music, more, in more, music. most creative. And they, need, and they, they need to be seen, bro. Absolutely, it's definitely and, 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 and that, that's why I think from from the standpoint that's why one hundred six would be good. Exactly, that, that one six would be perfect. They really should have. If they were gonna really, god damn, niggas, the biker boys outside. <laughs> um, if they really were gonna jump back into this video formatting, it should have been one hundred six apart. One hundred six in park. They could have did two TikTok, two TikTok stars and one celebrity host each week. Well, the same two, say same two TikTok stars and then switch out a celebrity host. So that way you have name value from a musical standpoint. You have name value from what these kids follow. Everybody would get involved because it's going to be a mixture of, of, of the two. And you can incorporate different things. They, they'll probably end up getting rid of that one on six of park in the booth thing because then you're forcing niggas to rap and we all know how that goes. And it, it could have really been something special. But because they're going with a format more familiar to people who are no longer the consumers, it's going to be a real uphill battle. And th- th- that's my major point. We got to show, if, maybe if it was called something else, I probably wouldn't feel this way, but you got to show catered to rapping and the people that you're expecting to consume this don't like rappers. They, they like the vibe. You know it's what I mean? About, it's, it's all about the vibe. It's, it's the vibe right now, it's, which it's, it's I respect. I understand, but for, for for that to for a show like Rap City, I just don't see it working. Mm. That that that's that's all. But I don't change the fact that I hope it's successful. You know what I mean? I hope I'm completely wrong. I, I'm good. Watch. <laughs> I definitely would love for him to eat or whoever comes on to eat. I'm just thinking like I just don't think today's artist is is gonna really flock to that. I mean, and then, and then you take that that concept of like. Remember how excited you was when 106 or even TRL had the world premiere of the new video you've been waiting all fucking week to watch. Mm-hmm. When Kendrick and Keem dropped that Family Ties joint, that mm-hmm. would have been that would have been so nuts on, on 106 Park, bro. The fact that yo we got the new Kendrick Lamar video dropping at one o'clock, bro. Yeah, kids, absolutely. Like it, it like it, 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 it brings back that nostalgia of kids running home with the excitement to watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though TV is is obsolete now, but at the same time, it's like when we when we ran home to catch 106, or even TRL for that matter, it's like we knew that that this new video that we've been trying to see for this song that we think is so fucking dope was gonna get a video that drops today. Oh, bro, I can't wait to watch this shit. I cannot wait, and I feel like going 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 about it this direction. Will be for our kids. Like I can see my daughter running home to watch 106 or to watch the new TRL, to watch TRL or hell. With my kid in particular, she's gonna run home and watch Rap City for sure, no doubt. You know, it would be a dope show to bring back with music videos being what they are now. Access granted and making the video, making the video for yeah. sure. Yeah, if they were to bring those back, oh, that that that's something they could bring back from our time that would just flourish. Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. They bring back cribs. So I'm pretty sure I heard they were gonna yeah. But isn't that like a uh streaming exclusive? A Peacock exclusive? Oh, I have a Paramount Plus exclusive. Or Paramount Plus. Yeah, I believe so. But anyway. they are gonna put those episodes on TV. You you know they will. Probably catch the reruns down the line, probably. Absolutely. 
Well, we we gonna see what happens. Man, let's get into uh, let's get into the, the meat and taters, shall we? So it wasn't talking. <laughs> well, I guess let's get into the broccoli and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Sogan was, was a big topic. Um, R. Kelly, guilty. Um, <laughs> my mind, <my> Salvino. <laughs> Dog, I but saw this jail cell. This I saw this. I shared this meme that had me crying, laughing. It was just three. It, it was a clip from uh, from uh, Scared Straight. And they superimpose R. Kelly's face on the kid's face. Oh, with the, the three names around them. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> my God. The, ca- <laughs> the caption says, seems like you're ready, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I saw one was just, uh, it's two dudes and, and, and like the cry Kelly face. He's like, tonight, I'm feeling on your booty, Rob. Oh, <laughs> no, bro. There was another me- died, There was another me that money. said, hey, Rob, when I go two, two, you better go you better beat, beat. beat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh man! First of all, <coughs> bravo to to the fucking criminal justice system actually acting like they give a fuck. I say acting because we know this. He's the one they example. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to them for actually uh, getting one right. Uh, yeah, I, I strongly doubt he gets life. Strongly doubt. No, I don't think he'll get life. That window is crazy. Some heavy this years. is one of three cases. He, he feels he's life. gonna feel like his life. He's but, getting life. Yeah. Uh, no, now. In a technicality, it's going to be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 but as far as what they're going to actually give him, like, dog, this nigga said it could go from as low as 10 years to life. I'm like, that's broad as fuck. Hell yeah. That's not a good range. <laughs> I'm like, right. That's, that's a big ass range. And keep in mind, though, when, you, when, you, when you're convicted on a RICO charge, bro, it's it's not easy to be like, no, I didn't do that. Uh, trust me, when they come for you, that case is built already. That was, this racketeering. There's paper. That was the only <laughs> charge that, like, I was oblivious to. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know he was involved in anything that was the Rico charge. Everything else, I'm like, mm, he did that shit. But, well, either, but the but, Rico, I, that was like, whoa, you did that too? Oh, throw this thing under the jail. I didn't, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, like, they spun it like, like, like the organization of sex trafficking, bro. Oh, they use that to go, okay. Okay, well, where the Rico comes in is the bribing and the okay, well, okay. And, and, and the, the trafficking across. Well, no, that's his own. Tra- he already got. No, sex. no, that, that's all part of the Rico. As far as the New York case, that's all. That's part of the Rico. He he was found guilty for the Rico charge, and the Rico charge included the trafficking of girls across county lines, uh, uh, the technically kidnapping, technically torturing of both boys and girls. You know what I'm saying? So that's what got him the guilty. And that's just in New York. He has another trial in Chicago, Chicago and another one, I think, in Minnesota, some shit. And those three, and those two, that's strictly just sexual misconduct. This nigga was a menace. This a nigga fucking was menace. busy, bro. <laughs> and it, and it's, it's so wild, man, because like you, you really stop, you, you really go back and think. And we, you know, you heard about what happened, and this nigga literally sung his way out of trouble. Aaron McGruber tried to tell us. Yeah. Dave Chappelle tried to tell yeah. us. He himself told you, bro. He himself tried to tell you. What the fuck? And this nigga been on, like, I'll never let go like of the whole, like, just hearing vibe on the radio once. And this nigga said, little cute Ali. I was like, so y'all really weren't paying this nigga yeah, no mind no back mind. in the day, were you? But, but but to that point, though, that's made shit so fucking sad because I know black folks to this day, the minute they even know that that nigga was guilty, they're like, no. Free R. Kelly. Bro, they had it. It was people outside the day he was like censored. They were outside protesting. Like, it was really some bulldog uh, shit. I was at work, bro. And then it was a whole conversation about, like, well, how can you let Cosby go but charge R. Kelly? Yo, these are way, these are two totally different things. And then I think people just go off headlines. They don't actually look to see. Because Cosby was doing something back in the 70s and, and, and 60s where. Everybody was fucking doing that. Even shit. if we take that away, the only reason Cosby got off is because the court the fucked, fucked up. up. That's I mean, it. At the end if of the, the court fucked up his R. Kelly case, yeah, you're right. He would have been fucked. He would have got off too. The thing right. that I say all the time when it comes down to Cosby, I can't speak on any of the other chicks that were on the cover of that yeah, shit. Can't. I can speak on the one chick that the nigga admitted to doing it mm-hmm. to in 2005, and to me, one is enough with R. Kelly. I can't speak on any of the chick. Correction, because now I can speak on the ones that were in court, yeah, <laughs> at least yeah. in court. The ones that were in court, I'm like, never mind, y'all, y'all got some, yeah. y'all got some leverage. Like drawing the page, but, them, like, I'm like, yo, I, like I felt them when they told their story. You but, know what I'm saying? But it's like with R. Kelly, you could take all that away. We still have a video of you fucking a 14 year old girl. 
Yeah, and, you could take and, that. And I'm saying though, us as as the consumer, us as black people as a whole, because <clears throat> our leaders and our influencers and, and the ones that we grew up with, like they're they're dropping like flies, whether they're dying off or you know they they're catching a charge. Live long enough to see yourself with the R. Kelly, bro. Make a been a villain. <laughs> He's been the villain, and not only that though. Mm-hmm. Even way back when, I told um, my man the other day, I said, "Bro, as I stand before you right now, I have never bought an R. Kelly CD, not not one nah, time. Me have I gotten it into one of his records? Absolutely. Do I know his records very well? But I have never spent. I've never spent my hard earned money on an R. Kelly project. Never, not ever, nah. ever. You feel what I'm saying? But unlike certain people, I can still watch Cosby Show. And still get a laugh out of it. Yeah. Bruh, I can't hear certain songs by R. Kelly and be like, bruh, this shit feels so fucking weird. Yeah, to me, it's, it's certain songs with him that you can't, that you just, you just don't fuck with. But I know how to separate the, the artist, artist from, artist, from yeah. the art. But but like I said, actually, in the post, it's just, and I think we, me and Losey have even talked about this on the show, it's certain things that, you know, I can separate, but it's certain things I'm like, okay, nah, you, 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 I you, just can't, you right? can't, I just can't. And that's one of them. I can't do it. Like I said, it's only certain songs that I can listen to and be like, okay, but. Yes, if they just come on. Like, if I, I'm not gonna purposely turn them on. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if, if I'm in the store somewhere and even though I know it wouldn't happen, but if I'm in the store somewhere and they got an R. Kelly song that I can fuck with, okay, fine, but you're not gonna catch me going to this R. Kelly album. And like, like, actively like looking for Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I can't get over the niggas and the women that, especially the women, are just openly just like, I never said, you're foul for listening to R. Kelly's music. I never said, I never, you do what the fuck you want to do. Exactly. <laughs> I, I can give two fucks, but I can also feel how I want to feel. your morals, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's what you, I'm not even saying, and, and, and this is, and this is real talk. I'm not even saying it's anything against their morals. I can't tell another human being how to live. I can't. Cause guess what? Another human being can't tell me how to live. Exactly. Just like they can't tell me how to feel. They can't tell me how to be offended. Exactly. They can't tell me none of that shit. I don't care, but it's like, why are y'all niggas going out of y'all way to talk to me about this shit? If I'm happy yeah. R. Kelly got locked up, let me be happy R. Kelly got locked up. If you feel like he should be free, go listen to TB2.com. That's the only that's about and, as clean you know, as it's gonna get for and, you. And, and and the thing is, like now, now when it comes to the people that's protesting, I agree with them halfway because yo, if if Kel's going down, them fucking parents need to go down too. Because you I was serve, just about to say that a lot of them Joe parents Kel on a fucking play. Yeah, a lot of them parents need to be be, be li- too, is for absolutely real. guilty. Not bro. even a lot of them, all of them, every single one of them, because every one of their stories were the same way. You because ca- even when you go back to watch, watch Surviving R. Kelly, excuse me, when you go back to watch the show, you know you had heard stories, but you know. It's R. Kelly, so I figured she was gonna take. He was nah, gonna take it. My girl, like, I heard no, nigga. story was enough. You knew I, that. I, I, I heard stories. You should that know was on this documentary. Exactly. The it's end. A, with, with that, I mean, granted, everybody's can spread rumors, lies about your period, but it's certain stories where it's like, even if it's a rumor or a lie, you like, you 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 kind of side eye it. So if I hear a story that. Even though I know you, I know you would never do nothing like this. But if I hear, if I hear a story like, oh no, Jay, Jay's been caught messing around with like three girls that was like fourteen. No, the fuck, Jay. I what? know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> even though I know you wouldn't do this, even though I'd be like, Jay, wait, Jay for real? So when I got my fourteen year old daughter, I'd be like, that's my man's. But let me just keep an eye until I know for sure. Right. And that's what these people need to to understand. It's certain stories that you got to be like. I don't. I gotta find the truth for myself, but until I do, my nigga, I'm watching you. And, and, and those parents were and not doing with, that. With with R. Kelly in particular, bro. I was 14 hmm. when that fucking tape came out, and when I saw the tape, and I, and I saw all girl on the tape, like yo, she looked 14. Yeah, I couldn't finish it, and it was just like. And I was a kid at the time. And, and, and the whole difference with the whole situation is like, it's like, bro, you can deny it to your blue in the fucking face. You can look at that tape and clearly tell, mm-hmm. as clear as, as the sky is blue, that is R. Kelly, bro. Mm-hmm. Not if you're R. Kelly. <laughs> right. To him, it's his brother. That's my brother. <laughs> right. And, and, and if, I, if I'm your brother, I'll beat your motherfucking ass, bro. Like, wait, what? Yeah. You put that on me? <laughs> Fuck that. I feel in this particular case, when it now, when, when in this particular case, I mean, it's so many people that should be seeing some type of time behind us from the parents to the people in R. Kelly's camp who was complacent with oh, this. And more, more like, it, it's it's sure. so Bad much, way. you know what I mean? And I feel like with this, the people protesting, like I agree that the parents should be too, too, but I'm looking at it like, how could you sit there and protest that this man should be free when you know that it's been proven 
that he's messed with multiple that's why underage I, that's why I, women. That's why I even argue I mean? with them. Like, I would even, like, anytime they say, man, the parents need to go to jail too. Facts. How you feel about R. Kelly going to jail? And they never want to talk about right. that part. Right. They never want to talk about that part. Only if the parents should go to jail too. Okay. How do you feel about R. Kelly actually doing the fucking though? The parents. Nothing. Well, cool. Nothing. I agree. Up top. How do you feel about R. Kelly though? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know, man. The, the shit is weird, bro. Like, the, the, the hills that motherfuckers, you know, are willing to die on is 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 awkward. It, and it's, it wasn't it's like very he was making, awkward. Like he was making like hella hot music before going in. Like no, you making trash back then too. So it's like, and, bro, mm. name the last R. Kelly record that you say you fucked are with. You, are you talking about by the time he went in? By the time the, the the shit really hit the fan, like he was facing these charges. He's he hasn't these made no, current charges is in general. You remember nigga dropped Chocolate Factory? No, no, the no, first no, no. Case. That, that, was after, that was after the first. Court, uh, 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 not get the verdict. Mm. Since then, okay, since then, well, of, of course not, because he, at that point his stock was already starting to fall. He's already yeah. started fading away. Absolutely, but it's it's the, but it's that longevity. He can live forever off of your body's calling me. He can live True, forever. Yeah. But but yeah. but the kicker is like like something as simple as opening your eyes and realizing the fucking breadcrumbs this man left for us for thirty fucking years. Like, bro, yeah. Even day back to like now, I can't. Like, to look at the Aaliyah album cover for Age and Number Number and see this creep motherfucker in, in, the, a, background, in, the, in the background peeping out the scene and then more Yo, so. Yo, like, I know this may ruffle some people's feathers that's listening, but, and even though I, I'm not, I, I can't, I haven't fully thought about it to completely elaborate on it. It was a Aaliyah song that came on the radio yesterday. And I was like, if you listen to it, I mean, he may have wrote the <laughs> records, but you can listen to it and hear the stuff that she's saying is like, Wait oh, a yeah. minute! This she's this, fourteen, rap about, like like singing about some shit that grown ass. Not even that, good. like singing some shit not, that a grown person would uh, say that is doing this to a kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Like I'm like, look at the whole hook for AJ Number the Number. Yeah, I'm like, the album is called AJ Number yeah, the Number. Dude, like you said, dude has left breadcrumbs his entire I'm career. I'm the Pop Do you know what? Do you know what the fuck the Pop Piper is? Exactly. What did he do? Yeah. He why, left, why is he known for that? He left breadcrumbs the entire I'm pretty sure time, that, and people just said, fuck it. I'm pretty sure that's a part of his whole sexual fantasy. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm Blake, because a lot of motherfuckers, like like the Zodiac Killer used to get off to the fact that, ha-ha, you can't catch me type deal. Mm-hmm. That probably was a part of it. Like, look, I've been fucking little girls in front of y'all for years. They say that's what's like, like psychopath and psychopaths Narc- and stuff narcissist. like that. They say that they get off by... Uh, I mean, subconsciously wanting to get caught, but but get off by the fact that they can do this and not get caught. Yeah, it's the, he, it's the thrill of the chase that gets. There was him. a video yeah. that, that that leaked of him. Uh, I I want to say he, he's about to drop um, that trash ass album, but Black Panties or some shit. And he at, in this crowded club or something and, and doing a toast. And what she says, these motherfuckers should, should have tried this shit thirty years ago. Yeah, I should. can't. I'm, I'm I'm handcuffed to my destiny. I can't be stopped. And then another week after that, he had, uh, it was it was a a live performance video of him in like and and Gola some shit where he's telling the crowd, "Do you have a passport? Do you want to come back to America with Rob?" Like, and yeah. and the camera kind of pans out. These are children you're talking to, bro. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, dude, dude was a creep. What the blatantly fuck? said he was a creep, and not only did the fans just disregard it, but. The people who were in power that actually could do something disregarded it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. You know, you know who really need to catch the fade. They ain't gotta go to jail. They gotta catch the fade. The motherfuckers that were witnesses to the marriage. Yeah, like a motherfucker said, yeah. oh, I was that's at the wedding. What the fuck do you mean you was not at only the not wedding? Only those people, why was but there the a people wedding? Who then? knew that they fake documents to get married? So you only got to do this because you know this person is another age, right? You know what I mean. So you sh- you you got to get it too. You know what I mean? And and goes back to what Jay's saying, like. It's hard for me to believe that her parents didn't know something. Mm. And Kev, bro, as me and you are fathers to little girls, bro, and I, I can tell you, we come from the era where, nigga, if it was me, I, I would have X, Y, Z. Bro, I blame the parents because you it can't- It was you, and you, you didn't- You can't tell me, bro. You cannot tell me, bro, if R. Kelly abducted my child and got her brainwashed to be like, well, I'm, I'm good here. I'm blowing the fucking house up. Yeah. It's, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, it, it, yeah it, it, that that shit wouldn't happen. There's, even there's, if it there's did, not a, there's not a, an amount on this planet. Nah, that would have me sell nah. it like that. I, I will do whatever I got to do 
And if I get arrested for it, you gonna see me smiling I'm in killing the courtroom. You and every nigga got inside there. Okay, smiling. Well, I'm asking the, the other guards. Y'all trying to get in this picture with me? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm smiling because it's, it's no fucking way. You brainwash my daughter. And she says she's good. Okay, you good. But you're gonna be good at home after I tear this shit up. Right, exactly. I'm there is nothing up. that would be able to stop me in this case. You would literally have to kill me. <laughs> How do you plead? To Hella stop me. Guilty, yeah, yeah. You, you, did, you, did you did you did you I'm so did you blow up two city blocks to get your dog? <laughs> Showed it. Hey, it was cold but, that but, night. But but right. but <laughs> it's like, well, you're being kind of extreme. Did you hear the stories that was told in that courtroom? Right. It was like uh, old girl said R. Kelly made her made her suck his dick. After just just getting to running the game, sweaty balls and all, it's like, nigga, you're, this, this isn't sexy. This is gross. Yeah. So I gotta ask y'all this. Regardless on the time that he gets in jail, do y'all think he survives jail? No, he doesn't. Uh, okay. In 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 the midst of survive, what do you mean? Like as far as somebody interactions, kill him. Did somebody kill him in jail. So th- mm, this is a, a conversation I was just having the other day. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of two extremes. It's either going to be what they always tell you about. We, you know, they they don't like child molesters. They, don't look like, like they can't keep him in, not in gym pop his entire sentence. Not He's in gonna, feds, absolutely yeah. not. Um, but yeah, oh, but uh, uh, in, in, in the feds, bro, you can very much be he, he would be in his own private shit. He has to be. Like you, we're looking at another. So you ep- think that he's gonna be in like like separate from everybody else? But yeah, he, he has to be, bro. David, David, like, like I think that could be the case situation. if he had money. But he's negative. Two he's million. negative two million. I don't but, think that's going to be the case. But, but, think, but think about the, the the Epstein situation. Even though Epstein had money was long, mad long. But given the the severity of your crime, and I don't give a fuck. Like the inmates may love the fuck out of R. Kelly. No, they, they gonna love him already. They don't take that child molestation, that 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 predator shit. But see, lightly, no that's, way. That's the thing. That's what's getting me. He's either going to be. The most hated nigga in there, or, or the, or, most, or the loved. most loved? Yeah, because like you just got done saying, we've all done stroked something out to R. Kelly, and no, actually, I don't think I have. <laughs> it never came across in the playlist. No, oh, trust me, it, it nah, not on me. the list. For it's the, it's, it's, not, it's not, definitely coming. But that, well, that hey, so, 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 though, solid. But, but, go ahead, <laughs> front to back, front to back. <laughs> <laughs> it, but um, but yeah. We're not the only we're not the only people that have have done that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty sure some of the ear hustlers out here done done it. But it's because of that. It's because of that. You know that that false sense of almost in in the creepiest way possible that false sense of mentorship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that people grew up with muff, motherfuckers hold on to it. We we see motherfuckers that we thought were. Rational thinking individuals hold on to that right now. And they ain't in jail. Niggas in jail, at least where he going, ain't the most thinking of motherfuckers. And and, and that's my point because, you know, while, you know, people out here they love R. Kelly, he made he's made some fantastic music. Like, but nigga, if you really like I saw a meme the other day that was so funny, it was like, if R. Kelly really believes he could fly, now's the time. You're right. You should really try to fly. Yeah. Yeah. But but let's not forget, bro. Somebody already beat that nigga up in jail. Yeah, I, I mean, to, if I'm being honest, man, I don't, I don't, I don't think he does. I think somebody kills him because at this point, with this case being so, you know, in the public, this is a perfect chance for somebody to make their name. Either, either, either somebody kills him or he kills himself. I can see him killing himself. I can kind of see I'm that too. Him R- R- Kelly, I can kind of see that too. R. Kelly is way too in love with himself. To yeah, be I can kind of see that too. I can see him killing himself. You in debt? Sure. You about to? You about to face life? If not, niggas is at you. I can see him doing that. I saw some other shit that that technology is a motherfucker. Because remember that that one interview that uh, Azrael Clary and the other one did, in which uh, they're like, no, like we we <clears throat> we're, we're in love and. He loves yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah. If you zoom into the fucking um, window where they're talking, you can see that nigga in the back kind of directing the whole shit. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Oh, no, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. It's one thing that, I, that I'll go for. It is definitely uh, innocent to approve a guilty kind of situation. But off the dribble, nigga, you are guilty. 100%. 100%. Hey, you guys got Halloween plans? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah? It's COVID. Ain't nobody coming to my crib touching my shit. You're right. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, man. R. Kelly gonna get his. I, I, I'm, I'll be very surprised if he makes it out without a whole scar, but at the same time, I also would kind of expect it. I don't think he's gonna make it out, honestly. I really don't. I, don't, I mean, he, there's no way for me to see them, him having any type of inkling of a career if he was to get out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, I think our, Robert is done. Like, nah, he's done. I just ground that too. And the highly unlikeliness that R. Kelly actually gets out of jail. If he if he if he gets out of jail tomorrow and announces the tour by next week, that tour will fucking sell out. Yeah, I don't know about sell out. Yeah, but he'll he'll do numbers. I mean, you, you get a, he'll do he'll do more numbers than what we would expect. He's not, he's absolutely, not, he's not doing arena tours, no. But like a little theater joints, well, oh yeah. If somebody leaves, niggas are gonna go to that. Absolutely, a lot of people. That's he it. might That's he might have to do some outside book. shit because people ain't gonna want him in their establishment. He got to book it himself. This, yeah, this is through R. Kelly Entertainment, yeah. <laughs> which. Given his line of videos, I don't think <laughs> going to go anything on R. Kelly Entertainment. But yeah, man, I, everybody else, feel how y'all feel. R. Kelly going to jail. That's all that matters. Um, real quick, it went from fuck, fuck the NFL to this easily Boy. being. The blackest <laughs> Super Bowl halftime show. I since saw Prince. it too. I actually <laughs> said this to my aunt. What's today? I actually said this to my aunt yesterday. I was like, didn't everybody on that bill say they were boycotting the NFL? Every single one of them. No. No. I never heard Dre say nothing about it. I never heard Snoop say nothing about it either. Uh, Not Snoop for sure. No, I was about to say, I've definitely heard Snoop say something about it. Because, you know, Snoop Snoop like riding the wave. Yeah. I ain't never heard it. But but, but what I do know is that not only is it the most blackest one, the the weird, the, the weird change of events when back in the day when gangster rap was basically banned and now you got gangster rap basically fucking doing the halftime show and so it's, it's kind of wild how we kind of transition from naughty 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 like it's like it's because of these motherfuckers that's on this bill is why we even got the principal advisory sticker mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and now you take that same logic and put them and mary j blotch yeah man, 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 <laughs> who's man, we put there. them on the same bill which is arguably the biggest stage of the year, which is the fucking halftime show. That's twelve minutes of just ooey gooey goodness of some shit that you never thought you'd, you'd ever see coming. Mm-hmm. When just two years ago, we we said, "Yo, fuck NFL, bro!" Like, but then once Hove got on that motherfucker, was was Jay got there? Shit changed. Shit just changed. I'm just I'm curious because like cause like you said, it's it's a lot of gangster rap between them, and it's a lot of murder rap with uh, with uh, Eminem being there. But they only have twelve minutes, so I think they're gonna go longer than twelve. Honestly, nah, I, I think I think country you gotta go twelve minutes. I think actually, I think it's like twelve to fifteen. Yeah, I was saying in my I head, think I Bruno was for sure 15. did fifteen. Yeah. I, I was thinking I'll, fifteen. I'll, 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 I'll rolls but rolls out to an actual tour. I would love to see this tour. Mm, I don't know if that's. I mean, I would love to see it, but I, I'm I don't know. That could be like that. That does let me know that Kendrick's album is coming. Yes, for sure, for sure. I was thinking it too. Like he's way before February, it's coming. He's he's way way before has, yeah, it has to. It's probably gonna come out at the end of this year because yeah, he's, he's going to February. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is way too big of a show for. Uh, and I think Drake dropped something too between now and who, this Dr. Show Dre. Hmm? I'm okay. It's gonna be detox. I don't know if I can say I'm okay on it because I, I like I can't the, Com- okay, the Compton if album. If Dre drops something on next Friday, I'm, I will be listening. Yeah, the, the Compton absolutely. album. I'm going to listen. I, but I, I fucked I, with the Compton album. I'm listening. I'm not I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say. No, I fucked with that joint. I'm not going to say that. There's some, some heaters in that joint. There's some heaters on it as, 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 a, as a collective. Though. No, as a collective. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying I play it front to back. No, but there's some heaters on there that I fuck with. I pressed that forward button a few times. Yeah, but there's some heaters on there. But I ain't trying to hear Dre rap. I'm good. But um, yeah, man, I I do I do look forward to the actual halftime show because I'm very curious to how they're gonna pull off because they're not setting up like it's Dr. Dre's halftime show. Yeah, they're yeah. setting it up like like it's Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar's halftime yeah, show. Yeah, similar to uh, what happened last year when it was uh, the weekend. It was the weekend. Rolling Stones, fucking. Well, it was still kind of billed as the weekend though. Oh, you know, last year was the weekend. You're right. The weird the year before that it was just a collection of people like it was a bunch of people just kind of put together. Yeah, they just, they just like gonna Shakira, play their songs that they have together. Bunch of people. They're gonna play their songs they have together, like you know whoever featuring whoever, and then they're just gonna rotate. And I I know how they're gonna do it, but I mean I'm I'm torn. I'm like, great, this is gonna be great. I can't say that I'm not gonna watch, but 
you guys went hard when that whole kneeling thing was on, and right. now you guys are doing this. To me, I'm just looking like I don't get me wrong. I know everybody has the the um, ability to change their mind and so on and so forth, and everybody is going to be contradictory in some form or fashion. But that just seemed too much of a topic for you to be contradictory on. Yeah, I, I can feel you on that. And I'm looking at it more like a <clears throat> a celebration because, especially for them, because it's like. I've been to that stadium in Inglewood. We called the uh, Ram Chargers game mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. I was just, just in LA. Number one, that stadium is fucking gorgeous. It's gorgeous to look at, and the fact that, that that's where that's where the Super Bowl will be this coming year. And so you take you take cats with who in their backyard, but them being LA folks, except obviously Mary and M, them them all being LA folk, mm-hmm. and you get to bless this new stadium with the halftime show. Oh, bro, it's just. It just, it sounds too good. You know what I'm saying? I have a stupid question. And I only say it's a stupid question because I feel like in one instance, it could be a duh. In the other instance, it could be a hmm. And he's clearly an L.A. nigga. He's Compton. But is Kendrick an L.A. nigga? Yeah. Why is he? I'm confused. Why why wouldn't he be? It's like, okay. I say that because when you think about a lot of different artists. And, and, and of course, this could be my ignorance because I'm not in L.A. Mm-hmm. It could be. could very much so be. But it's also my watching of either people that are still in L.A. Or, you know, but, but this being Vegas coming from L.A. It, does, it, it doesn't really feel like it's a L.A. artist love. It just feels like just a regular artist love. And he just so happens to be from L.A. Talking about the bill? You feel that way? I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little confused. Yeah, no, I'm, so I'm, 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 trying to find, I'm trying to find a way to, to describe it because I did <clears> go into <throat> it without the best of explanation prepared. So Eminem. Mm-hmm. Mm. Eminem is a solid ass artist from Detroit. Mm-hmm. But he's not a Detroit artist. You get what I'm saying? People from Detroit, a lot of people from Detroit say they, they, they may not rock with him like that. Right, or, and, and, or not even just may not rock with like They still give him so respect, Eminem, but he doesn't. Eminem is not Detroit hip-hop. Right, in a sense. But you know what, what I mean? What, what, what is Detroit hip-hop if it's not Eminem? It's 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 definitely some different shit. It's different. <laughs> I can tell you it, that It right is now. some different shit, and I kind of feel where you're going. With Kendrick, though, and this is just, it could be my ignorance because I'm not fully familiar. The way I feel, Compton, even though I know it's a separate city, I feel like it's a bigger version of like Henderson here in the sense. No, let, let, let me finish. Example. That's a perfect example. In the, in the sense that, yes, Henderson is a completely different city. But when you ask somebody where you from, and they say Henderson, man, like, Henderson. Oh, I'm from Vegas. You get what I'm saying? That's kind of how I look at it. Like, yeah. oh, I'm from Compton. No, I'm from L.A. You know what I mean? That that's kind of how I look look at that particular yeah, situation. Di- di- diving deep into it, let's say, me smile. Yo, oh, I'm, I'm from uh, I'm from L.A. Then the follow question. Oh yeah, which part? And then you go into that, that, that yeah. deep dive. Yeah. Oh, I'm from Vegas. Oh, yeah, where? Yeah. where? I'm, I'm in the north. I'm, I'm on the east side. I'm, I'm, yeah. in, I'm in Henderson. Yeah. But the overall consensus is I'm from L.A. I'm from Vegas. And then when you want to go deeper to it, like most motherfuckers in New York, well, no, nah, I, I can say New York. They'll say, I'm from the Bronx. And they'll just, that's yeah, what they're that's, they they different. But, about I say, their boroughs are different Yeah, they different about that shit. But, <laughs> but with L.A., though, it's like no matter what, Snoop ain't from L.A. Snoop's from Long Beach. Right. Dre's from Compton. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kendrick's from Compton. Uh, Quick is from uh, uh, Compton. J-Rock's from Watts. Like, these are all various sub-cities of the city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the overall consensus is I'm from LA. And then if you, you if you don't know where I'm from, then let's let's have a conversation about it. I'm really from Compton, da da da. You, it breaks it down like that. So the the honor for, for Dre, Snoop and Kendrick in particular to be able to do that in their backyard, it all links back to LA, no matter what part mm-hmm. of the city you're from. Or like you're or from like, the city. Like I'm from Cleveland. Oh no, I, I, I'm from East Cleveland. You know what I mean? Or somebody saying they're from Shaker. We know that's a different I'm from Cleveland city, Heights. but they'll say they're from Cleveland. No, you so know what I'm saying? With that, no, with that, I completely get. I'm, I'm, I'm more so speaking off of the, I don't know. Like I said, it was just, a, you mean just like, the music wise? Music, yes. I can't say representation because he definitely claims Compton and, and Cali and the West Coast in general. If you're saying music wise, I can understand else. it because his but, music does sound different from an L.A. one. Right, I, I, I mean, in the sense of reception. So, like in Cleveland, mm-hmm. the example you just gave, you know, Bone Thugs, St. Mm-hmm. Clair. You know what I'm saying? But 
is Kid Cudi on that same level. I get what you're saying because for me, I'm like, man, I don't even claim Kid Cudi. You know what I'm saying? An artist. I, I, I've said that plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? And then going back to Eminem, motherfuckers in Detroit will say, I don't play Eminem. Yeah, I've, you know I've heard I mean? that from Detroit people, from Detroit, from from, from Detroit cats. But also, in, even in, going in the up sense though, most people will say that the definition of Detroit hip hop is Eminem. So, so it's all about how you. With Take him, in, really. with him in particular, I think it's a little bit of a slippery slope. Right. You know what I mean? With him in particular. But how you're saying with everybody else, though, I get it. I, 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 I get it. I understand mm-hmm. what you mean. It's just, it's just one of those things where it's, it's, it's like the, the, the representation. Mm-hmm. Like, to okay. me, I, I, I look at Kendrick as an LA artist because he has, obviously, one, he talks about it. Mm-hmm. And two, there is a, a, a very strong California vibe there. I'm just talking about the general conversation, you know, of of the internal hip hop conversation that happens when it comes down to to California. They say Kendrick's ca- like like they, it's almost like they they claim him as a California artist, but it's almost like he doesn't fall into the the L.A. artist niche. Like, it's it's kind of hard to explain. No, I get you. I, I, well, I, I think get I kind of uh, get what you're saying. You can put Freddie Gibbs in that same conversation because he's not from Cali at all. He's from Gary, Indiana, but his music is synonymous with California L.A. music. You know what I'm saying? Like he he makes practically LA music. Mm-hmm. So uh Does he? No, look, if you if you if you run through a lot, a lot of Gibbs shit, Gibbs collaborates with a lot of LA folks. Like, Is it his early shit? No, his, his current shit too. Really? Cause I ain't feel that way on uh the Alfredo joint or the Alfredo, Alfredo was very East Coast. Really? I, I, I ain't yeah. feel that I often say cause that, that's the one I've been bumping the most but, recently. But, I ain't but, feel but, that way on but, that one. But the the, the run off of this new album, you know, he he got the, the single with Q. He got mm-hmm. a single with uh I think he has Dom on another record. Like he's very much in, intertwined with LA, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just like like Chris Brown. Chris Brown works with more LA artists now than he's, than he's ever did before. Cause he's, I agree. He's, yeah. In LA, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Gibbs is one of them cats to where if you don't know, if you didn't know him, if you didn't know for for a fact that Gibbs is from Gary, Indiana, you just swear he's an LA nigga because his whole vibe, the whole mantra of him is LA shit. In my I opinion, I can kind of get what you're saying. I I I, I, I kind of see what you guys are saying. I do. Yeah. You know who's the perfect example of, of what I'm talking about? Who reps the fuck out of where he from, but is really not considered from this kind of place? Be from there? Yep. Bobby Schmurda. Bobby Where's Schmurda from? from? No, Bobby Schmurda from New York. Officer, he's not from New York. He's from New York, but New York niggas do not claim him as a New York as like a New York artist. They don't? They 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 feel like he has a lot of that southern Type style to him. They look at they look at uh designer. Shit, I looked at him as more. He had more of a Chicago style to me. This, but this, this he definitely me. comes I, off yeah, like a drill nigga. That. Yeah, that's for sure. Saying. Comes yeah, off like a drill yeah. nigga. But designer the same way. Designer from was it from Brooklyn? Yeah, designer from New York. Yeah, from Brooklyn, yeah. and yeah. they don't claim him. Yeah, at he time. sounds like a down south. I think with him though, that thing that that's a um, stylist a okay. catalyst of uh, the fact that when he came out, then the south was like everywhere. And, and so he and, wanted and, to, and to sound like, sound like fucking future. Yeah, you know? he wanted to sound like, you know, the South. That, that's what I look at there. But I do get exactly exactly what you guys are saying. But now that, like I said, that, that was more so just a question because I, I remember seeing certain conversations uh, regarding that. But um, yeah, it's going to be a great halftime show. Yeah. I'm looking so forward to this damn yeah, show, bro. I mean, yeah, it's going to be great. Like, I'm interested to see what songs they choose. What songs are you looking forward to hearing? To be honest, I just don't want to hear nothing bad. Those artists are all great at what they do. I just don't want to hear nothing that's particularly bad for me. I mean, twelve minutes. But I don't know. You're, you're, you're only gonna get the hit. So like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hear Gin and Juice. I'm trying to hear still Dre. You know, I'm, they're gonna do all right with Kendrick and whatever the new single that Kendrick's gonna do. I'm, I'm sure. He's do I'm sure. Yeah, he's gonna do something. You know, yeah. uh, Mary yeah. and Dre will probably do Family Affair. You know, yeah, it's you, gonna you know, be collabs it's, in there. It's, or something. it's yeah. not. It's, it's not a Dr. Dre halftime show, but he, he, he's he's obviously the focal point. Of the show, because he's all, you know, affiliates of Dre, including yeah. Mary. You yeah. know, what I'm saying yeah, you know, Mary's more of a, of a the, puff the, thing. But. This this next question is a definitely of um not something that we would normally talk about because we, we wouldn't give a fuck. But who do you think had the biggest bag out of that? Who got the biggest bag? Dre. Easily. Dre got the biggest bag easily. Dre. Behind Dre, M. Behind M. Snoop. Behind Snoop, Mary behind Mary. Which is what I was actually about to say. Snoop might have been the second best. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Like, yeah, we got to put a little bit more respect yeah, on Snoop. Snoop, oh, Snoop yeah. got Not his. only do he got hits, Snoop is everywhere. Snoop got his hand in so much shit. Snoop, Snoop busy. Is, Snoop is <laughs> and our Dev Jam. Trust me, Snoop is beyond good. 
Shit, that, that nigga did a show with Martha Stewart. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, I think they still got an episode or she like new seasons. Yeah, this nigga's on a Corona commercial. <laughs> like he doing a and he got what the Go Big show. Listen, Snoop, he, he, Snoop, Snoop is out Snoop there. Snoop is really got his new album now, and his new album is so like he's. I mean, the fact that I, I never thought I'd hear Snoop and Griselda do a record together, but that, it's coming. Ooh, I gotta That's hear that. That's what sounds so weird. Nah, <laughs> like it might Zelda? not. Like, that I, I, the reason, reason being with Snoop, I've heard him on tracks with other people. I'm like, this might sound weird. And Snoop matches whatever energy they're bringing, one sounding wise. You know what I mean? So I think, I think it might be Snoop and Griselda might be nice. That might be kind of fun, man. You know what I'm saying? It but might be nice. If Benny Pins is verse, then yeah. Pins who? Snoop's verse? Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I don't. I don't think all the time Snoop needs some no, independence. Voice. I don't think. Verse. I don't think all the times in the least bit, but with certain cats, with certain cats, I feel like Snoop would step his game up though. Like with them, I feel like he's gonna be like, "Nah, I'm gotta really write some shit." But if it was somebody else, he might have them pin it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think like, with like, certain people, he he might like try to step up though. I don't think Snoop has a writer for all his shit, but I think for a good majority of his new shit. He definitely mm-hmm. has somebody, somebody pins and stuff. Shit, I think even Lil Dicky wrote Snoop's verse on, on the record that they got together. You know what I mean? Like, cause Snoop had a crazy verse. Snoop was gassing. I was like, yeah. I ain't never heard Snoop rap he like that. that shit down, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just like, it's just like Dre in a lot of ways. You can always tell who he's on the record with by how he's rapping. You gotta tell who wrote that verse. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, even going, even getting all the way back to, uh, still DRE. When you find out it was Jay Z, you can't help but to hear Jay Z rap. Oh yeah. yeah, bro. Even to this day, if I'm like still still DRE now, I'm like this sound like Hov is rapping right now. It's like the cadence, the delivery, the bar, uh, double stack. Like bro, that sounds like Hov did that shit. Shit, if Dre's verse on guilty con on uh, not guilty conscious, well probably guilty conscious as well. But Dre's verse on forgot about Dre sounds like him. Mm-hmm. The recipe sounds like Kendrick. The recipe sounds like Kendrick. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's. You 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 really hear it, and and you started to hear that with Snoop. So like, I'm not saying Snoop don't write any of it. You could tell what Snoop writes, what Snoop mm-hmm. writes for sure. But then there's certain stuff. Is like, there's no way you wrote this, and then you wrote this because this one, which Snoop wrote, has a bit of a dated feel to it. Mm-hmm. This one sounds super fucking current, and you double stacking bars. Like you've always been laid back, Snoop. You ain't never been this guy. I mean, mm-hmm. he said the same thing about Kanye on this new Donda album. Yeah, there's the Kanye verses like kind of. Kanda Kanye is spitting. Kanye stopped writing that for late registration, I feel. Other, I agree with that and, too. And then on other records, like, when I hit you with a WYD, don't hit me with an HI, like, what the f- what? That's a Kanye line. <laughs> That's a Kanye <laughs> bar. You can say, when I hit you with a, hit me with a hey, with a bunch of Y's <laughs> or a hi, with a bunch of I's. Like, I enjoyed that line. I was like, <laughs> That sounds like old Kanye. That's, that's Kanye so, someone took a picture when he wrote that verse. <laughs> he came out the sucker place a little you better bit. Better be hey with a bunch of eyes, like and a hi with a bunch of eyes. I was oh, like, yeah, this sounds dumb. But that's okay. pretty. That's pretty Kanye. That's pretty Kanye though. Right. That gave, it gave me a chuckle. Uh, <laughs> well, this is a long ass episode, so we might as well get the fuck about it here. Uh, yeah. Great conversation, fellows. Glad we were able to get this one out. We back, you know, ear hustlers. Make sure y'all tune in. Well, this comes out Monday, so hopefully y'all enjoyed 20 for 20 yesterday. Yeah, and isn't it crazy who, who won number one contender? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. We're, we're speaking from the future. Yeah, yeah this moment. Future. Uh, but when you are listening to this, if you are in the Las Vegas area, this Saturday will be the championship mm. at Dreamcatcher Studios off of Charleston and Jones. Look out for the flyer with the address on it, all the great stuff. If you are not in the Vegas area, we'll also be live on YouTube, youtube.com slash beat network. Go ahead, follow everything that's at the Noise Podcast, at Beat Network. Keep up with everything that we're doing. And uh, yeah, as always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We always appreciate the support. And as always, it's Big Los. Hollywood Cav. Jay Alonzo. It's the Noise. <laughs>